Hi, chat. Hello. Too much loud music to hear here. There, listen, there's nothing to hear. The music has been turned down, sir. I am sorry. Your complaint cannot be filed. Please come again later. This is a recording. Chat. Hello. Hi. I'm your host, Scott. This is Arcade. It's Tuesday. Um, I'm currently... Okay, so... I'm, I'm, as you guys can see, I'm kind of walking around with some tech. Um, it's crazy what I had stuffed in boxes. Like my Kobo. Like uh, the, you know, um, tablet. Hey, keep your nose away from that. Go, go, get, get, dog. Also, uh, just like these nuts. That's right. Getting closer to return. I mean, listen, sports fan, you can't help what happened. You don't owe anybody an apology. You just do what you got to do, man. It's all good. Badger, hello. How are you? Folks, I know there's more of you here. I love that it's like, I was like, oh, no stream today. Yes, there was going to be a stream today. I had shit to do. I've also been fighting with freaking YouTube for the last goddamn eight hours over copyright shit when there shouldn't be copyright issues. I shouldn't be getting copyright and content ID strikes on my fucking content for using stream beats because a fake company is trying to claim that Harris Heller's music is theirs. So I am now in the middle of a freaking legal battle because I had to then send the information to freaking Harris Heller's freaking through his discord so his lawyers can get on it. It's bullshit. <laughs> For music, I know I can freely use, and I've I, I've given credit and attribution properly. Holy shit! Hi, Tuttle. Um, no, you can still use Stream Beats. The problem is there is a company trying to run a scam. And the issue is, yes, you can use Stream Beats. Yes, it is still illegal. Yes, it is still free. There is a company out there trying to claim that they hold the rights <laughs> and Canadian gamer. Anybody who knows anything about Harris Heller knows that, that is all bullshit. Hey, no, you're a bitch. Um, how do you know that they're doing it intentionally just to piss you off? Maybe they're just angry people who like pissing everyone off. Did you ever think of that? How do you know that they love pissing you off specifically? Maybe you're taking things too personally when you shouldn't. Context, man. Context is everything. Get the card yet? No. No, I checked. I just checked the mail. The only thing that was in my mail today? A flyer from Canadian Tire. Here's the thing. Once you stop taking shit personally, it's very hard for people to actually piss you off. Or maybe it's your anxiety and your anxiety is making it about you. Also true. Which is another reason why, oh, I miss Canadian Tire Flyers. Yep, we still get them every Tuesday. Like fucking clockwork. They're in the mailbox. <laughs> and Badger, you, you bring up a very valid and fair point. Maybe it is your anxiety and your anxiety is making it about you. And unfortunately, again, human nature, but it, once you stop taking shit like that personally, it stops bothering you. You don't get, you don't, some people, and let's be fair, there are people out there, and we all know so, at least one person like this, that intentionally goes out of their way to trigger a reaction, not a response, a reaction, because they kind of get off on it. We all know that person. I have people like that in my family. And they know exactly what buttons to push to actually get the reaction that they're looking for. Anyway. So yes, uh, I've spent the last, I've been, I've been fighting with YouTube since 7 a.m. this morning. Here's something else I will mention about that, Tuttle. On that note, generally as a rule, people that go around looking for a fight or looking to trigger others for an emotional uh, reaction are generally very unhappy human beings themselves. So, you know the age-old adage, misery loves company? There is truth to that because if someone is unhappy and they're just like, and, and they're just in that mood, then they will go and find a way to make someone else unhappy to make themselves feel a little bit better. 
or to make somebody else miserable so they've got somebody to be miserable with you know it's fucking weird human psychology like our freaking brains our monkey brains are so freaking weird and twisty it's not even funny ain't even funny not even a, not even funny monkey brains man monkey brains i'm glad that um i'm glad that the drops are actually working now hey drops are working Woohoo! um but yeah so i'm i'm fighting with freaking youtube over music attribution it is a pain in the ass um but again um all i had to do is jump into harris heller's uh discord uh he actually has a part of his discord regarding stuff for st uh stream beats um and um if if somebody tries to make a claim and you're using his mu their uh, stream beats music so that he can then forward that to you know the lawyers and get them involved so what a freaking hassle though and then i've got some copyright stuff because apparently um some of the playlists that i was using um okay this is a dangerous spotify and let me be clear there is sometimes a danger with spotify specifically when you are using a playlist and you have it set to um you have it set to shuffle problem with spotify is sometimes because it breaks the shuffle will randomly throw in shit that is not part of that playlist it will randomly pick music of a similar genre so you'll be listening to a playlist right and this is this is another another video that i i posted um i went through and i had to scrub it and i was like for fuck's sakes so i started out listening to a lot of alexander nakarada stuff because again it was for uh, it was for valheim right so i'm i'm using alexander nakarada his stuff is fantastic right slacking in time to market yeah where's the effing uh, effing qa well it's not even here's the thing though it's not so much qa this is something that was this was an intentional feature put in by spotify i don't know why they put it in something i noticed though it no longer it was it's like they did a trial run for two weeks and now it's no longer there it's gone it's fucking gone thank god because holy shit First and foremost, if you're going to try out a new feature in a piece of software, do a test. Have people sign up. Hey, we're, we're looking at adding this feature. What do you think? Give it a try, right? And don't fucking force it on people, right? Yeah, I do the same thing. My stream beat, my, the, the, the stream beats, um, anything from uh, like the stuff that we're listening to right now. This is original soundtrack stuff from Valhalla, from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So it's video game music, right? But here's the thing is, is, is Spotify is fucking around trying to like, because I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to get new music in there and try to get it played. I get that, but you know what? If I'm listening to a specific playlist, there is a reason I am listening to that playlist. I'm not looking for new music. I have that playlist and that one alone playing for a reason. Don't fuck with my shit. Don't touch my stuff. Leave it alone. Don't play. Just leave it. No touchy. But stream beats, same thing. I always have it on shuffle. Because you don't want it playing in like an order. So I was like, it just like blew my mind. So now luckily none of my none of my stuff on youtube is monetized so it's not like i have to worry about freaking and you know what frankly i can choose whether the video is monetized or not when i get to that point so chances are the ones that if it turns out that there it was some freaking weird fluke which the the last video that i uploaded right you can't though you can't because it is on it is on the creator to do their due diligence it is not on whatever player or whatever application they were using it is actually on and it, it is stated it's not on spotify that is on me and i have to be aware of that and i'm i'm not gonna lose anything on youtube anyways because i'm not making money on youtube i'm just posting my vods on youtube 
I'm not making money from it. I need to have like a thousand subscribers and 4,000 plus watch hours in a one year period in order to monetize the channel, right? So I'm like, eh, you know, so all it is is just a place for me to create a, a, a VOD archive for, you know, just because I only have 14 days here on Twitch for archive, right? And I am not paying for a Prime subscription, an Amazon Prime subscription, just so I get 60 days. And again, it's only 60 days, right? You never, you, here's the thing, Canadian Gamer, don't say that though. You don't know for sure. You don't know for sure. I don't know. I mean, I'm sitting at a, I'm sitting at 100, 100 subscribers right now. I was at 102. I don't know what happened, lost to, whatever. Not a big deal. But I'm sitting at 100 subscribers, right? But my videos, even my VODs, are getting views. It's actually kind of crazy. It's if I if I actually go to YouTube right now and I look at metrics. So a month ago, I had 19 hours of watch time for the year, and I was averaging one view a day. I don't post videos, just my streams. Well, yeah, but what I'm saying is I don't really post videos either. They're just my VODs. It's no different than if I was streaming on, if I was streaming on, um, say YouTube, my stream would be up, right? All I'm doing is taking it from Twitch because it only, Twitch only keeps it for 14 days and putting it over on YouTube where it will last permanently, right? So it's, it's not like I'm really posting a video. I'm just, I have to wait X amount of time. I download the VOD, you know, run it through just to clean up the audio a little bit. I don't change anything. I just run it through um, post-processing just to clean up audio and shove it right onto, right onto YouTube. I don't do anything special to it. I'm not editing. I'm not like, it's, it's literally just, hey, clean up the sound a little bit, put it over, right? I just save it in a playlist after I finish. I don't change, yeah, exactly. But again, it's, it's really not much different, right? But here's the thing. So like the Star Citizen uh, Space Trucking and Salvage Twitch VOD uh, that I posted last week, you know, like it's got 151 views. It, the, the, cli the, impression, the click through rate is 3.3%, which apparently is pretty good, right? Um, the Soul Mask Survival Gaming Community Builder, uh, which is again, just a Twitch VOD. 251 views, right? No, listen, you're not getting anywhere near my ship. My people will kill you. You will die. I mean, you can, but that, so that's the thing, right? Like, um, if I actually look at the analytics over the course of the last 28 days, I've gotten 631 views, which is 541 more than usual. I have 95.5 watch time hours, which is 92.5 more than usual. And I've lost a subscriber. So apparently I'm down 200% from the previous 28 days, right? But that's the thing. So it's kind of crazy. So my watch time is going up. My views are going up. But people still aren't subscribing, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but you know, whatever, whatever. The point is, is that I'm not doing anything special other than taking what I do here on Twitch. After the stream, I publish it on Twitch. Twitch only saves it for 14 days. So I, all I do is I take it, put it through DaVinci, clean up audio, spit it out onto YouTube. And that's it, right? That, that's it, that, that's all I do. It's just like, I just, spit it out you know like boom done nothing special just what there you go just vomit it back out right just vomit it back out to twitch or youtube i mean but the the nice thing is about taking what i'm doing here on twitch in in, in instead of relying on twitch to keep an archive i can then take and permanently have an archive of my Twitch streams, right? Which isn't necessarily a terrible thing because I can go back and actually look at the stream and I'd be like, okay, you know, like 
maybe if I tweak this, maybe if I tweak that, right? It gives me, it gives me something that I can track, but it's evergreen content that is permanently on YouTube and somebody might find it in like freaking three months time and enjoy it. They might just skim through it, grab a couple of things and be like, oi, you know, this isn't so bad. This guy's pretty good. And then from there, come here and watch the live. And that's kind of the whole point. Take what I currently create here on Twitch, just spit it out over onto YouTube. And then create that line that people will want to come and watch the, the live, the actual live streams here while they're going on and interact and chat. Now, that being said, I've had, I've had mentioned, hey, because I can now stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time, why not try that? While I would like to do that, there is one single issue. And it is one issue, and this is an issue caused purely by Twitch, right? Also live to the club. Oons, 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 oons. It's best music, bro. Best music in all of Europe, bro. I found that a lot of my comments have stated they like the VODs saved because not all the time. Yeah, well, and exactly. Disco, disco. Hey, disco. Listen, disco died. There's a reason it died. It stays dead. We're good with that. Um, but that, exactly, right? And that's the one nice thing. So me putting it on YouTube actually allows people to, if they've missed a stream, they can watch the VOD over there, right? But it, it does give me full-on evergreen content permanently on a platform because like i said my stuff here on twitch only lasts for 14 days 14 days that is not a lot of time that's two weeks and then it's gone if i had a twi if i had a amazon prime subscription it would last it would last 60 days which still really isn't that long i would rather just do what i'm doing right now take what i create here on twitch Put it through DaVinci just to clean up audio, spit it out the other side and throw it up on YouTube as permanent, uh, as a permanent archive of content, right? Here's the thing though, um, you don't, but the thing is though, is Canadian Gamer, you say that, but here's the thing, right? I have more views on VOD saved on YT than I do with people joining me in the streams. You're live streaming, Here, here's the thing that you have to understand, old gamer, uh, old Canadian gamer. If you actually read through the stuff for YouTube, live streaming, live streaming will never get you monetized on YouTube, unless you're sitting there with 10,000 people every single time you go live. Then they'll be like, okay, this person's got some, and they'll instantly, they'll, they'll step out to you. All of YouTube's monetization is based off of view count and watch time on evergreen content that is permanently there archived. It's on video, right? But anyway, uh, I like that. Hashtag this is our uh, chat. Uh, something, so, something to let you all in on. Uh, there's some new merch. There's new merch in the merch store chat. Dad made merch last night. That's right. Dad made fucking merch last night. Hip content, shake for action. Mm, mm, mm. But uh, yeah, Eth. Dad made new merch. Dad went and made some more merch. And uh, so there is now a Jawa, an Utini Jawa Java mug, a Richard Scorpions mug, an Utini Jawa Java t-shirt, an Utini Jawa Java long sleeve. Uh, I, I think we're gonna do a Richard Scorpions t-shirt as well. <laughs> Yes, yes. Uh huh. Yep. Dad did it. I mean, listen. Slider's been riding my ass about this, and you know what? He's right. He's right. He's fucking right. I've been I've been sitting on this for too goddamn long. So there you go. You want to see it? There. 
There, that's that's the Utini Jawa Java, right? Oh <laughs> no idea what you mean. You've been riding my ball sack, <laughs> There might be a version two of this coming too. We don't know yet. We'll see. Maybe, 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 maybe not. So it comes in white. Uh, whatever this color is. Apparently it's whatever. A uh, couple of different colors, right? You can get it up all the way. Uh, some of these shirts you can get at 5X or 2X, depending on the color. 4X, 5XL, 5XL. That's a big ass shirt. I need a shirt that's a moo-moo. I ain't judging, but I mean, yeah, basically a car wrap. Yep, yep, basically a car wrap. Um, and then we, like I said, we've got the long sleeve. I don't know why it's, it's showing weird, but as you can see again, it, it is same logo, right? Whatever reason, it's showing fucking weird. I don't know what the hell this is all about. That is some weird ass shit. What is that? It didn't look like it doesn't look like that in my picture. I'm going to tell you the picture that I put in there does not look like that. But yeah, so it's Richard Scorpion Toronto. <laughs> That's right. Welcome to the newest hip and stylish coffee house in Toronto. Not a real location. If you're drinking hot brew from this mug, chances are you're thinking about those that can eat a bag of Richards. Yeah, pre yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, probably exactly what it is, Slider. That's right. Say hello to your new favorite mug. Get cozy while watching the next live stream while enjoying a nice coffee, tea, or whatever beverage you enjoy in this glossy ceramic mug. I love that though. Welcome to the newest hip and stylish coffee house in Toronto. Not a real location. I love that. Not a real location. If you're drinking hot brew from this mug, chances are you're thinking about those that can eat a bag of Richards. <laughs> Don't mess with us guys. Need that 3X. I need it for the length, not the size. I mean, listen, no, no, no. You know what? I'm. <laughs> hey, hot, high, high sleepy. Hi, Sleepy. So, yes, we've got the Richard Scorpion Toronto mug. We have the Utini Jawa Java. Here's the description I put for this one. Slight sandy notes with a hint of bantha milk hits the palate as you enjoy your hot brew. I can't even. I can't even, man. I love that slight sandy notes with a hint of bantha milk. <laughs> the smell of fresh tracks in the morning. Oh, yeah. Mmm, that's tasty. Yep. So there you go. Again, also, this is both sides. And I'm going to rework the other mug. So, oh, I did rework the Scott's Arcade mug, actually. That was something else. I did actually rework the Scott's Arcade mug. I don't like the way it shows the... So, yeah, this is actually Scott's Arcade on both sides. I did see the hydrator one. The problem was is that one was already... It, it had been sitting in the freaking folder for a while. I was like, you know, fuck it. I'm doing it. I'm just... We're just doing it. So, yeah, we got the Utini Jawa Java t-shirt and the Utini Jawa Java long sleeve, right? So... Now, the long sleeve only goes up to 2XL. The t-shirt, you can get up to a 5X or 4X, depending on the color. 2X for whatever this is, 4X for this, for it, so. But yeah, this is apparently silver. This does not look like silver. So, like I said, dad did a few things, made some changes. Added some new merch, Tatooine Tech University. Dude, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. So last night, again, this is the thing I want everyone to understand. There is so much stuff that I actually do when I'm not streaming. Like, it's not just, I know a lot of you guys see like, 
me just sitting here in front of the camera talking to you guys to the microphone and we play video games and sort of shoot the shit and joke around but there's a lot of stuff that goes on off camera like real life stuff like having to cook meals keep the house clean right like go spend time with Zool you guys know she and I are you know she's my significant other right um you know help help her with stuff as well you just go yeah right yeah I just go lay, lay on the couch and sleep yep yeah yeah just I'm done Yup, is Soviet USSR couch sleep on you? Exactly, exactly, Tovarish. <laughs> it's like holy shit. But chat, there you go. Yes, so there is a there are a few new merch items. It was time. It's like all right, gotta you know. Yeah, there you go. That's right. You know, I just I just throw on Netflix and I crash. That's it. I'm done. Did. I'm dead. Dead, Chad. Just done. Just. <laughs> All right. Are you guys ready? Like, uh, do you guys, you guys ready to see some shit? Y'all ready to see some video games or what? Are you ready for some football? No, no football. Footballs? Who, who, why are we talking about the footballs? Why are we talking about the foosballs? Sunday night party. Been ready 30 minutes ago. I mean, I like to talk to everybody first. I like to, I don't just, listen, I don't know about you guys who do stream and you just jump and you're just right into the game. You don't talk to your people. You gotta, how do you build a community if you're just playing the video game and you don't talk? You don't get to know people. You don't have discussions. Huh? Czar, how you doing? How are you doing? You're right. You're right. I do talk too much. You know why? Because I like to get to know people. He, my, do <laughs> my dog can stream without talking. Well, that's because animals are cuter than humans. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Animals don't need to, animals don't need to talk. They just need to run around chasing their own tails. They're cute. They're cuter than humans. They do cuter things than humans. People will watch them. <laughs> not impressed. Kingpin 50 yet. No, I am not Kingpin 50 yet. I'm not even Kingpin yet. I am enjoying Skull and Bones though. I like that. Not impressed. Don't talk to anyone when there isn't anyone. There are, listen. But here's the thing. So Canadian Gamer, the whole idea, like when you're streaming, even if there is nobody in there, you should still be talking as if somebody's there. And that is actually kind of that number one rule. Always talk like somebody is here. Even if you think you're losing your mother trucking mind, right? Are you suggesting looks affect streaming viewership? Sometimes. Offensive. I mean, you can be offended, but do I look like, like, tell me I'm wrong. I mean, I feel like I'm pretty right on that. There, There is data showing the correlation between how someone looks and how it affects streaming viewership. Oh, I know I'm there you go. It's like kids come talk when you do something cool. Then you're a fun kid, right? See exactly. Oh, I, yeah, you're losing your mind. I mean, aren't we all a little bit just a smidge? Just a tiny little bit. Just a little bit. Don't be shy. Just a little bit with air and extra dry. Who are all these ugly people? Viewers of 80s movies. Hey, back in the 80s, we thought those people were hot. The cleavage phenomenon. Not always, though. You'd be surprised. I I know quite a few wonderful female streamers that don't show their they're they're like they're not showing cleavage and they've got lots of views. They're they're wearing shirts that are covering their cleavage. They're not like ooh. I have packs though. Little side sack, right? Exactly. Just a little side sack. I have packs. I'm fit. I, I have a fit physique, which means that while I might not have like double D's, I still have something that would attract people. But guess what I don't do? I don't yell yeah, a little side sick. That's right. Little, little of that side sick. 
<laughs> Frozen Valkyrie. Sometimes I troll the just chatting to see all the ridiculous. I Wearing nothing, doing nothing. Yeah, yeah, I hear Bob. Bob's your uncle? Little tease, I mean, right? Please, I don't need to see. What, the side sack? I mean, what are you ashamed of? You you, you jealous, sir? You you feeling you feeling a little weak in the knees? You heard Bob? Bob and weave, Bob and weave. I feels like, <laughs> feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Damn sexy Flanders. <laughs> How you doing, Frozen? Good to see you. All right, uh, we're gonna turn data off because we don't need data on right now. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing, like, so, and Frozen, you've seen this. I I know I've seen this just because sometimes, sometimes it's it's one. Of, I'm enjoying playing this game solo, Czar, like hundred percent. This is so much fun. That's the fun of the side view. There is no wrong way. Hashtag all shapes. Ooh, <laughs> there you go. Okay, this went the wrong direction. Did it really though? Did it? But Valkyrie, that's the thing, right? So if, if you're you're sitting in, there are two types you'll probably notice um, with regards to just chatting. There are the e-girls who are practically wearing nothing, doing absolutely nothing at all. And then there are those who are actually sitting there and having conversations, intelligent conversations, and they're dressed. I tend to go towards the ones that are actually properly, like, like they, they seem to be clothed, you know, and they're having an actual intelligent conversation that is easy to follow. Um, they're, they're not like, right? They're, they're, they're not just playing off their looks. There is more to them than just their looks. And then there are those that are definitely all they're focused on is I look hot in a bikini. Well, great. I'm glad that you look hot for in a bikini. I'm not jealous of you, but I don't think Twitch is a platform where that should be the thing. There are other platforms where you could probably do far better. So how about you take it there <laughs> where there might not be children? You know what I mean? Oh, no, it is. No, it is just thirst traps. That's true, too. 100% thirst trap. The Krampus lemur? No. <laughs> Why do I have a Krampus lemur? No. The white flag, the bright star, the stitches. Wait, stitches? No. New tidings? No. Smugglers pass premium. Why not? I have the smuggler's pass. I might as well use the goddamn thing. I might as well use the smuggler's pass, chat. We found one that straight up had glowing toy through her. You're kidding me. Hashtag impulse buy. It's not really an impulse buy. They like I have the premium token for a reason. It's part of the partner program with Ubisoft, so I might as well just use it, right? But um I'm not sure how I feel about some of this stuff, but you know, okay. I mean I've got it now, so you know. Unlock premium rewards and extra smugglers. Oh, I need more. No, you know what? I'm fine. That's fine. No, I'm good. I am good. Currency. <laughs> I'm not buying any of your damn currency. Nope. No, 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 no. Why is it still? What the? I already. Smuggler points 15. Use smugglers marks to advance and claim rewards from smuggler past tiers. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Thanks. Think we're think we're good. All right. The internet was founded as a shady place and will remain so. Parental guidance should be used 24-7 or your kid needs to be good. Uh, yeah, PG-13 internet never going to happen. Also true, unfortunately. And you know what? This is all fact. S Slider is 100% spitting facts, right? Smuggler marks, Richard, <laughs> Richard. <st> <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that I'm doing manual work, I actually have to test more. I got you, I got you. May you piss rum and shit coins. 
Ha 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 I like how you speak to me, you dirty rascal. That is, uh, interesting though, right? Here's, so here, people think their iPad is safe, so the internet is safe, and then they accuse the social media corpse. Yeah, no, it, it had, no, you are, that is, uh, can't even, can't even argue what Slider is putting down right now, because he is spit, spitting fact. It has been whackable since day one. My kid has parental control. Yeah, in a browser. Exactly. So it is up to the parent to therefore. You fucking killed him. Karadek is dead. That's right. We fucking did. We killed that son bitch. Of course you haven't. If you haven't heard it from me. All right. Well, let's talk to the smugglers now. Nailed them. it. Now, come to make my acquaintance. Are you just plain deluded? Or are you hungry for something more? Having a powerful sponsor at your back could make all the difference. My employer, Mr. Frederick Chulin, may be sitting pretty Chulin, in huh? York, but his connections reach all the way to the Indian Ocean. You're hungry for the wolf or I like the wolf? I you rub shoulders with the local kingpins. Because <laughs> I'm hungry like the, the wolf. Good old Duran Duran. a threat. But how far will your allies be able to carry your ambitions, Captain? Mr. Chulin has great plans for the Indian Ocean. Plans that Mr. Chulin can eat a bag of Richards, King courtesy King. of the merch shop when the and the comes, brand new Richard Scorpions Toronto region? coffee mug. Someone who will see to it that business runs. It's a little gamey. I mean, listen. Whether that requires discretion or a firm hand. Are you that person, Captain? I am. Work with us, and we'll provide you with all the TTU logo. Just has a variety on is just was just moments, a variety on the U T N. It is pretty sharp. It's very sharp, dude. But first, right? Dot. Yeah. It won't be easy. You notice its peg leg is a bone. <laughs> it's like a freaking bone. While powerful pirate captains battle for fortune and infamy on the Indian Ocean. One of Listen, I have a lemur. A I'm fine. Okay, I don't need the the, the skull kitty. I've got a lemur. From the Caribbean, who spreads plague wherever he sails, turning chaos to his own gain. Philippe Le Pest threatens not only my employer's business, but that of all freebooters like yourself. Our you freebooter. When the time comes, mate. So, um, I talked to Zool last night, and uh. She's kind of down for her and I to make a trip to London and uh, check out McCulloch's costume shop uh, and uh, possibly buy some uh, props and, and, you know, hats and stuff. Uh, the beautiful thing is, okay, can, can, we take, can we pause for a minute so I can show you some stuff that I found last night that I think you guys will be down with? <laughs> yes, I love that. Oh, my. Spoken to on Mr. Chulin's behalf. Hey, 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 but hey, of course, hey, 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 hey. You're my favorite, mate. <laughs> uh, the African ailment? Oh, I mean, I can do that. They're a strange. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on a second here. Um, speak to the. You know what? We'll do that. With all the pies Mr. Chulian has his hands in, his demands will only grow. Stay the course, Captain. Right. Okay. Smuggler's mark earned. Ha <laughs> ha We'll check his stuff out in a moment. Oh. All right. Uh. <sighs> All I hear is me. Uh, where? Oh, where? Oh, where? Oh, where? There it is. Hats. Okay. Um. So. Hats we don't know how to categorize. Okay, so <laughs> here we go. Here we go. So uh this is one of them. And if this is stuff you guys would like to see happen here, by the way, that's how you can help. Okay, that's how you can help with this. So that's the aviator's helmet, black leatherette. But wait, there's more. <laughs> but wait, we have more. 
We have the fake Air Force hat. That one's a little pricey though. That one's like 60 bucks. I'm not so sure about that. Might might come back to that one. Uh just wait for it. Just wait for it. Okay, hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh I mean we could do the two uh two eye hat. It's a band it's a it's a headband. Makes me look like a freaking minion. That's only 10 bucks. There's a one head there's a one eyed one too. Uh, we got the aviator's accessory kit, which I had thought about too. Gives me the, the helmet, the goggles, and the scarf. Yo, Frozen Valkyrie, thank you so much for the sub. Uh, why is that? Oh, there we go. Thanks for the prime. The man thing, man. Twitch is being twitchy. Twitch is being twitchy. Thank you so much for the prime resub for four months. I appreciate that. But yeah, so uh, this gives you the, the 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 gladiators goggles, that weird le leatherette helmet, and the scarf. This is all stuff I'm looking at because I want to bring. Th I think this 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 is worth the sixty bucks. Worth the sixty bones. Hell's yeah! Holy shit! Look at it! Look at it! <laughs> Yeah, here's the thing. If I'm in London going to McCulloch's, I'm just going to go to freaking Forest City Surplus and pick up a flight suit for like 10 bucks. But that's what I mean. We hit, we hit, you guys, you guys got to understand. Not only when we get 20 gifted subs or $100 worth of tips in a single stream, will I set up an arcade after dark stream. So bonus stream where we pop a couple of drinks and play some games I don't normally play on here. And just, you know, have a good old time. But then it allows me to buy buy shit like this so I can entertain all of you with stupid props and helmets and hats and goofy little freaking things like this. This one, also. <laughs> Let's go. It's the nuts helmet. Now, I would probably do something to fix this up a little bit. You know, I'd flop the shield up and... Now, okay, here's a question. You ordered a flight helmet and a flight suit, a flight helmet and a flight suit yesterday. What specific, is that for like a costume? Is, are you cosplaying as a pilot? Is that, is that what the deal is? You cosplaying? Yo, Thunderwolf, how you doing? We're just looking at goofy things. Anyway, <laughs> there we go. Dad was just looking at goofy ass things because I want to get some props and stuff for like stream. Son of Liberty, you are a curious uh, new. Um, you are a curious one. I hear Skurlock almost considers you like uh, his equal, like m any, like many other captains. You fell for Skurlock's lies, but somehow you slipped out of his trap and even defeated his adversary. Everything that Skurlock has left, he owes to you, and yet you remain beneath him. Remove yourself from under Skurlock's shadow; you shall eclipse him on other adventures. Other adventures await. Seek them out. And we might cross cross paths soon. Interesting. Scorlock will kill the goose that lays the golden eggs uh, for long. Of course he will. His greed will be the end of him. Okay, we're just going to transfer all of this to... No, we'll keep all of that. All right. Sell safely, Captain. All right. Oh, we need to hammer and plunder. Okay, I guess I gotta talk to this skis bag, huh? Nearly lost my patrol cap a couple of times to 30 mile per hour wind, but afternoon. Afternoon, Kaylee. How are you? How's your day been? All right. Let's look at the smugglers' pass. Offers opportunities. We will have new tasks for you each week. Speak with me again, or check your logbook to measure your progress. Protect my employer's interests in the region, and be rewarded. Assuming you don't end up at the bottom of the sea. Okay. Quartermaster, right? Obtain La Potence schematics to reveal weak points on La Peste's bat flagship La Potence. This will allow your cannons to bring the hurt to the Plague Lord. Okay, Gunner Master, with, relentless, with its relentless barrage of firepower, obtain the epic carronade to break the hulls of your foes and send them to the depths. 
Equip your flagship with the Wrathful Ward armor piece and watch your foes choke on its toxic fumes. Jesus. So, was playing Minecraft with a significant other, I accidentally took a nap halfway through getting materials. Oh, I mean, you know, that, that happens. 90 days rem uh, re rate. Okay. Captain, we're a brigand. Arr. Archives. Compagnie. Son of Lenitra. Our memories. Okay, well. Father and child reunion. Uh, okay, let's. Much for you to take no, 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 just, just. My employer offered. We've been shut your pie hole. Each week. Give Protect me. My employer's interest in the region. Just let me have a look, okay? Use your smuggler route. Okay, well. Smuggler's points. Challenges. All right. Uh. Really. Deal 50,000, 500,000 damage, cook 50 food. Okay. Complete six merchant convoy events. All right. Uh, three contracts for William Blackwood. Okay. 15 contracts for job board. Okay. Wave one. A new wave of difficult challenges will arrive every 30 days. Take on these challenges for even more smugglers points. Okay. Uh, craft one bark. Craft one la potence schematic. Defeat 30 plague bringers. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I got you. I got you. Got you under my skin. Okay, well, not enough marks yet. Okay, well, that's fine. Not enough marks, not enough marks. Hellbent, huh? There's a curse on the seas. A pox-ridden ship with a madman for a master. His only allegiance is to blood and chaos. Got to, got back to watching Lucifer, saw a clip, reminded me of how much I actually liked watching. Lucifer is a pretty solid show. You sure about that, Captain? Lepest has been building his power over the years. Exploring the Yeah, we're gonna whoop his Africa ass. And learning Screw this guy. Tell this clown. To Anguan and witch doctors. To hell with this guy. We're strength, gonna whoop his ass. Leaving you fucked on the water. Hey, 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 Those hey. Those who cross path are doomed to a slow, agonizing death. And Mr. Tulin's operations have not been spared. Something needs to be done about the Plague King and his fleet of pestilence. I certainly hope you're up to the task, mate. Strange reports of entire ships and settlements being ravaged by potent, uh, by the by potent Ungwana poisons. Oh, we're gonna. There's we're gonna much that. you and Mr. Tulin could do for each other. Trust me. Captain. It is very breezy in here right now. Holy, you know what? I'm all right with it. It is beautiful. We had a, we we had a th major thunderstorm roll through here like four hours ago. This is like freaking crazy. All right. Okay. Oh. Uh, perhaps you shall find yourself in our good graces after all. Perhaps you can just shut your pie hole right now while I go and uh, you know kick somebody's ass. We're gonna go uh, cram somebody's teeth down their throat. Mm -hmm. You still have some way to go to make your money. Ha 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 uh, what do we got? Uh, let's go to manage ship first. Oh, we got some ship cosmetics here. Mm, yeah, I'm not really feeling that. Like, I mean, like the long dark set's kind of cool and all, but. I mean, like. <laughs> Good Lord. The Elder Vein. Uh, we're just gonna keep up. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Nightfall's Herald. Ooh, we're we're equipping that. We're we're equipping that. 
I know we can do better. Mm, Rust Shade, Ocean's Allure, Starless Hue, Clan's Wake. We're gonna go. Mm, let's go with the Starless Hue, I think. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll I think we'll stick with what I currently have on there. I think that's fine. Vengeance, insatiable, pillager. Uh, we're gonna go with vengeance. That works. Okay. Yeah, we're we're saving that one for sure. Onwards to the end. Oh baby, let's go. Okay. We're definitely going to accept that. <laughs> the cr I'm not buying the Krampus one. Clumsy Fino. Maureen. This star of the sea will guide you on your journeys. I mean, sure. I guess. Ish. Yeah, definitely keeping that one. And the firework, I really don't care. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Let's go. Set sail. Arr. The pattern section on the one that glows at night. The sail color, I mean, damn right you accept it. <laughs> like the damn right you accept. That's right, you son of a bitch. That's right, you Sorry, son of a bitch. He's like, that's right, you son of a bitch. Okay, so plunder la colony. Uh, what else do we got here? Uh, let's check my journal. Hammer and plunder from the deep. I am not ready for that. Uh, let's. Let's check that one then. Deeming safe zone is the story of Kit the Tiger based on true events. Sorel is rumored to be at Saint Emily on the southern coast of Ile Royale. Okay, southern coast of Ile Royale. I have a stinking suspicion that that is where I need to be. So we're going to go over there. Get moving, you rascals. Oh, shut your pow, please. Fuel up. Need you lot in fighting shape. <laughs> you'll accept it and you'll like it. <laughs> Folks, if you're just joining us, welcome. Happy Tuesday. Drops are enabled. Welcome to Ubisoft's Skull and Bones. Uh, as you can see, we did finally upgrade our ship. That's right, new ship who dis. We got ourselves, we got ourselves a new nice looking, I mean, the sloop's a nice looking, this is nice. Being in a group equals better loot. I'll keep that in mind. I will definitely keep that in mind. Okay, here we go. Who this? Who this? The French merchant ship. Eh, we're not helping those bastards. Fuck them. 
I normally group with someone and we just do our own thing makes fights a little harder but every little helps I got that I got that I understand that we're not helping them they're French we're not doing that we're, we're not about that okay yes, over there. What is it? skirmisher I mean listen we're just no uh, we're just gonna keep we'll keep heading in the direction that we're heading nope you have another French ship coming to aid you I'm not earlier Mars hello welcome how are you there are a lot of disabled French ships out here do they have any idea I'm doing pretty well earlier Mars do, do these French ships have any idea who I am like do they know who I am Do, do they realize? <laughs> Lorenzi's kind of busy on the European mainland during this time. Well, no, these these are these are company ships, so they're not necessarily busy. But. What are you racing me, bud? <laughs> they don't like being called disabled French ships here. <laughs> Differently able. Oh, hell no. <sighs> Britannia rules the waves, except this map, apparently. Yeah, I kind of noticed that too, Thunder. I'm not touching that one. That's a brigantine, and we're only level six. That thing is level nine. That <laughs> will kick our ass. Nope. Not happening. Full speed ahead. Those French ships can't be French. The flags are white. <laughs> you're only seeing that because you're English. <laughs> Yeah, well, we got that now. What be that, Captain? That one's company. What do we do? Wait, what are you, Greenheart? Right. Okay. Well, oh, Compagnie, the Compagnie, or the Compagnie. Whoa, 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 why are you turning into me, sir? Jesus Christ. Jesus. It's like, sir. that though <laughs> let's go turn that boat around no you can't make me not turning the boat around man it ain't happening I'll take I'll take the green heart though Good. Keep going. Bring it hey there we go game is 17th century so yes or is very very young still um 1694 so Rise 
Casper. Hi, Casper. How are you? At this time, Murka don't exist yet, I don't think. Or is... No, very young. Very young. America exists, but it's like... I do believe it's like very young. Early 1700s. Yeah. Well, this is... uh No, actually... uh I want to say 1783, baby. There you go. There goes that. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> 1783. There you go. Um, and this, this, actually, this would have been before America was America then. Oh, what is that? What have we got over here? Oh, what is this? That's a compagnie ship. It's a merchant ship. I mean, I kind of want the green heart plank, but I also don't want to fuck around with that tower right there either. We were a country in 1783, right? Yeah, I think game is set around 1720, 1730. Yeah. So the US wasn't actually a country just yet, right? If anyone says 1776, when we declared independence 1783, the treaty was signed ending the war. Aha. See, there we go. We got, you know, I actually like the fact that we have some fairly historically intelligent human beings here. We ran off the locals and the Brits are like, fuck you, that's our job. Wow. Wow. Shots fired. Holy shit. Shots fired. I mean, he ain't wrong. <laughs> yeah, well. Holy shit. <laughs> A little on the nose, isn't it? <laughs> shit. Yeah, but it hits. It does kind of hit everyone. That's true, too. It really does. That's one of those like, holy shit. That's a, that's a ready fire aim kind of a situation. It's like, good Lord. Oh, no, don't you do that shit. Compagnie Royale. Uh, what is this guy? Oh, that's, uh, I mean, you know, hey, well, you know, you do you, boo boo. Okay, well, we're just floating here for a minute. There's a reason. It if it offends you, then you're an oppressor. I mean, I'm not offended. <laughs> I'm definitely not offended. Should I be offended? Ambush, investigation, clue, huge heist in the open seas went awry. Keep an eye out at sea to look for clues as to why it failed and maybe succeed in its place. Uh, it's probably because of freaking Kuharibu, a freaking whatever the hell that thing is. African ailment. Aha, uh -huh. all right, okay, well, of course we're going into the damn wind. Let's see monsters, easy mode, caribou. Yes, caribou. Sure, the British Royal Navy will show up in the in SMB eventually. Can't really avoid it. I mean, <laughs> not wrong. We need to catch the wind, Captain.
Uh, just chum the waters nearby. <laughs> Dead company soldiers, the <laughs> sailors, and the sea monster will be appeased. Karamu. Is that a cow or a moose covered in caramel? Caramel? Oh, hell no. Pretty sure the opening of the game puts you against the British fleet. Yes, it is against the British fleet. It was against the British fleet because one of the ships was the Exeter. <laughs> it's like, fuck. Actually, the ship that you end up, the ship you end up beached with is the Exeter. And if I remember correctly, the HMS Exeter was one of the, Brit one of the main British fleet, right? Historically speaking. The Exeter was like one of the main one of the major ships for the English fleet, right? I mean, if I'm incorrect, please correct me. I'm okay with that. I don't get mad if somebody goes, uh, no, you're wrong. A lot of ships back then shared names between countries, also true. But it is the British fleet that you go up against at the very start, yes. Is a ship from back then? Yes. Yeah, I was certain that it was, but you know, hey, what do I know? I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm just Cully Ed here, okay? Folks, if you're just joining us, welcome. Come on in. Come on in. We got, we, we do have drops enabled. Drops are, uh, are a thing here, Friends chat. In high places come in handy, but don't lose sight of your dreams. You like that. Don't lose sight of your dreams. Mm. Mm, we're just gonna leave it for now we'll get into all the the robbing uh and pillaging later i just want to do some of the uh some of the quest stuff i just want to do some of the quest stuff With the drunken sailor, what will we do with the drunken sailor? What will we do with the drunken sailor? We'll lie in the morning. Up she rises, way hair. Up she rises, way hair. Up she rises, we'll lie in the morning. Put it this way, the uh, a game is about 20 to 40 years off HMS Victory being built. So that actually puts us, what, about 20 years from them laying the keel for the uh, build of the Victory, yeah? But about 20 years from laying the keel? Victory was laid down 1759. All right. See, these are the kind of conversations I like to have. Commission 1765-ish. Damn. So victory was laid, uh, laid uh, kill was laid down in 1759, commission 1765. Damn. was no All right, so we're getting there. Oh, 
got the crew a jabbering. Renzo, boys, Renzo. She gave him cake and water. Renzo, boys, Renzo. And a bit more than she ought to. Renzo, boys, Renzo. She gave him rum and whiskey. Renzo, boys, no, we're not Renzo. plundering. <laughs> not here for the plunder yet. Not yet. Soon. We're going to be plundering soon, but I'm trying to get some stuff all. What's in the world? What's that? That must be sea peoples. Of a leaky black hawk flipper. All right, so we should be. Oh. Uh, where are we on the map? Okay, yeah, so. I mean, I could. Yeah, I could have cut through, but. All right, so uh, we're just gonna do this. Yes, Compagnie Volontaire. What are Cannonball Crate Grill? Uh, I mean, we could. That thing will probably still kick her ass, so. I'm, I'm, listen. <laughs> I tend to try to stick to the fights that I know I can win guaranteed. HMS Exeter was 1697 according to Wikipedia. Really? Interesting. Of course we're heading into the wind. So the Exeter was 1697. Uh happen to notice that there's some loot sitting out here I'm like yo we're gonna a ghost ship prowls these waters a ghost ship a ghost ship chat 60 gun ooh who did you meet there and what was her name out of bounds. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Relax. What the hell is that crap about? Bruh. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. All right. Fine. 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 Jesus. Holy shnikes. For context, the Brigantine has 20 guns total. Yeah, and the Exeter had 60. That's a lot of guns. <laughs> That's a big ship. Whew. Whew. This a big sheep. Fire! Eat! Uh, nope. I already got one of those. Fuck, I didn't even think about that. She. Okay. Well, we're almost there, chat. Oh, I'm taking the loot where I can. Are you kidding me? There's loot. I'm taking it. We're taking loot. 100%. I will take all the free shit I can get. Yep, Look, sure. A treasure map. E what do you got? Yeah, nothing I need. I'm like, bro, why are you, uh, why are you fronting, bro? Huh? Why? Don't, don't even. I ain't about that life right now, okay? That 
correct, Captain. Might be one of Bloody Bones' victims. We might discover a clue as to what happened to her. Yeah, we're gonna go and check this ship out here. There's an awful lot of freaking traffic around me today. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, so let's get in here and see what we got. closer do I need to be to this bitch? Alright, well, what do we got? I leave this account here. Should I not survive the journey home to tell my tale? Her ship lurched like a demon out of the fog. Bloody bones. I heard the stories. I knew what fate awaited us. So I hid among the cattle like a coward. If the stories were true, she wasn't here for those. I saw it all. She had her men open up Altry coffers. She lined up the survivors. I looked away. But I heard it all. My friends gasping for air. The belching. The retching as she pushed going after going down their throats. An eternity. Finally, I caught her voice. Raspy and unearthly, as she addressed her crew, said their journey was coming to an end. They would visit Farloui one last time and let Le Paradis take her. Did she mean the patrolling warship or heaven itself? <laughs> Even hell wouldn't take that fiend. For all our sakes, I pray our noble countrymen put an end to her hellish attacks. May Le Paradis strike true and send that ghost witch to the stake. Damn. He mad, chat. He's mad. Mans is mad. Good Lord. Uh, Let's select that and let's read the treasure map. I was aboard the ship of Mina in the midst of a raging battle, rogues pounced on me near Roa Hill, northeast of Royal Burial Ground. The ship was finished, but I slipped away. If I do not stop them, they will never catch me. There we go. Okay. Alright. Alright, we're underway. Okay, so where okay, Sorel is rumored to be at Saint Amelie on the southern coast of Ile Royale. Where in the fuck okay, hold on. Il Royale. Noisy Bay, Roy Hill. Sultani Island. Company soldiers. Trolling the region, these company soldiers are encamped here for now. Those low on arms and supplies may be interested in their offerings. I'm not too worried about that. What is that? African ailment? Not worried about that either. Fuck. Where? Okay, so that's bloody bones. So here's the thing, though. If you guys notice, I'm trying to find... What the hell is freaking... There's St. Anne. Donkey. No, I don't want a covert initiation. No. On a donkey. The Royale. Okay, well, that's great. Nope. 
Nope. Where in the hell is this island? 1712, 50 gun, fifth rate, named HMS Advice. Gotta love the British humor arrogance. Yeah, right? For context of Brigantine. Spectral Voyages. I don't care about the Spectral Voyages. Don't care. We're currently trying to find... Baruch. Naga Coast. Okay, why am... Mm, contracts from the Deep. No, we're not touching that one. All right, fine. We're, we're, we'll just keep continue with the Bloody Bones Legacy because I seem to be able to find what I'm looking for. So, well... All right, here we go. Here we freaking go, chat. Do 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 Yeah, that is kind of funny though. Fifty gun, fifth rate, named HMS Advice. What the shit, man? There is definitely something about the freaking the British humor. Uh, so we're trying to find St. Amelie on the southern coast of Ile Royale. I have not found Royal Island. Ah, <sighs> fuck me. <laughs> Shit. Ile Royale. Ah, uh, Royal Island. Oof. That's fine. We'll just continue with the uh, Bloody Bones thing here. Because we... Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> I'm like, God damn it. Okay, so we're just going to head to the marker here. Yar. By the way, pirate hat was in the list of things to get from McCulloch's. Free the soils. Set them open. It is the beauty of living close to a place that has a, you know, year round costume shop because of theater and everything else. So they have full costumes there too. Ah, uh, from what? Okay, so we're here. So yeah, is the story in Kit the Tiger based on true events? Sorel is rumored to be at St. Emily on the southern coast of Port Roy of Ile Royale. Bloody Bones Legacy, huh? Fire everything you have! <laughs> Let's go! Get the weapons ready! Get to your station! Ha! They will sink soon! You're going to fire flames! Time to get close! No, they're not doing shit! Capture October 31st, 1665. Criminal known as Bloody Bones apprehended aboard her ship, the Ashon Corsair, near Fort Louis. Offered no resistance. No other soul found on board. Crew likely deserted. Ashon Corsair seized and searched thoroughly. Only a few personal effects found, including the sketch of a grave of apparent sentimental value. Couldn't ascertain its location. Prisoner refused to talk. Crew reluctant to press further. Ashon Corsair sailed back to Saint Amélie with prisoner on board. Frequent storms prompted more unease and irrational fear among the crew. Public execution. What the hell just happened? Death by burning. December 4th, 1665. What the fuck just happened? Only the sharks, you 
Criminal father. sentenced for the following charges. What Harris. just happened? Witchcraft. Unlawful boarding of 13 Company Royal what trading ships. What the fuck? Slaughter of their crews by suffocation. In her final moments, the criminal engaged... You left them... A primitive ritual of some sort. Crowd dispersed hastily. Many fearing a spell or a curse. Let's go and raise the sails! Fire! No! No! Oh, shit. Where's my stuff? <laughs> Shit. Where's my stuff? Who's in the sails? Where did all my stuff go? Where's my goddamn loot? So oh shit. Okay, well, um What do you mean I can't go back? Bullshit. We're going back. Dad's getting his goddamn freaking loot. Hold on. Dad's gonna try to get us as close as he can. Let's go. No! Oh, Come on. In that Fuck. Okay, fine. I get. Man, they get real bitchy. So I lost all my stuff. All my stuff is gone. All of it. That is some bullshit. <laughs> Fuck. That's some bullshit. <laughs> I am not happy about that. <sighs> Fuck. Well. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. How come there's... <sighs> We're heading to... We're going to the Spectral Voyage. Fuck this shit. Here there be... Yeah, here be dragons. <laughs> I'm the Pope now. It's fuck. God damn it. So unhappy about that bullshit. Hey boys. Oh, don't you hear the old man say goodbye, fare ye well. Goodbye, fare ye well. Oh, don't you hear the old man say, Hurrah, me boys, we're homeward bound. We're homeward bound to Liverpool town. Goodbye, fare ye well. Goodbye, fare ye well. We're all of them duties, they well come down. Hurrah, me boys, we're homeward bound. And when we get to the Wallace gates, Goodbye, fare ye well. Goodbye, fare ye well. That really kind of burns my ass. That kind of burns my ass. comes Johnny with his 14 months pay. Hurrah, me boys, we're homeward bound. We meet these fly gals and we'll ring the old bell. Goodbye, fare ye well. Goodbye, fare ye well. Where them shooties will raise merry hell. What's Hurrah, that? What's that? Me boys, oh. we're homeward bound. Let's go, Ben. Homeward bound to the gals of the Tom. Goodbye, fare ye well. Goodbye, fare ye well, and stop me, bullies, and heave it around. Hurrah, me boys, we're homeward bound. And when we 
gets home, boys. Okay, we well, we're going to go. I know where we're going now. We're going to St. Emily. Goodbye, fare ye well. We'll heave up the anchor to this place sound. Hurrah, boys, we're homeward bound. We're all homeward bound for the old backyard. Goodbye, fare ye well. What is that? Goodbye, fare ye well. Was it been fought over which kind of alien is We're this? all bound homeward. <laughs> Okay, uh, so, Bog, yeah, we're finding all sorts of material and everything around here, so, I mean, there's something to that, but... Well, this is a bit of a freaking pain in the ass. So I wasn't, I wasn't really expecting that we'd end up, you know, off the freaking map like that and lose all the stuff I gathered up over the last like hour. But it is what it is. It happens. I mean, sometimes that's the thing. Sometimes you'll be playing an online game, you'll make mistakes. What do you do? You just continue on from where, uh, where, where things went bad and hope for the best later on, right? That's all you can really do. There is a great warship! What's the that, Captain? Books for it! Hmm. I gotta say, it is kind of nice here. Interact. Okay, what can we buy here anyway? Just out of curiosity. Magnetite. Oh. Okay. Greenheart plank. Repair kit three. Sure, why not? go with another sure why not okay Roselle cloth yeah we'll just get rid of everything just sell it I don't need it at least not right now anyway Making mistakes is okay. Making the same one over and over again is a pro is a problem. I mean, you're not wrong there. I can't can't disagree with you. Can't disagree with you on that. Um, repair kit, repair kit. Okay. Well, we got all of that stuff taken care of. All right, so, whoa, Jesus. Let's go. <laughs> we're wow. doing it. Too late. We're doing it now. We're in it. In it to win it. They are weak, Captain. Just another rapper. Holy shit. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs>
Yeah, I got knocked the fuck out for sure. Spread the cells and catch the wind. Sweet Jesus. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's Enemy my stuff. Us. Hey. Everyone, be ready. What the fuck? That moment someone realized you need to yeah stream sniper i mean was that was that's not another player though all right you know what we're just not we're we're gonna respawn and see we're gonna get the fuck out of the way this is bad this is bad i was trying to stay out of that shit i wanted no part of it I wanted no fucking bit of it. That motherfucker just came out of here and just like, boom. Nope, we're fine. This is no, this is fine. We're fine. This is fine. <laughs> he just, I mean, I shh. I know. I'm aware. It's okay. Don't worry. I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about it. Oh, we're going back for my stuff though. I'm neutral now, so it doesn't matter. I can get my stuff now. I can get my stuff now. I need my stuff. We're not going back to repair yet. Not yet. That's it. Grilled bread. That's all we got. Grilled bread. You son of a bitch. I have furniture that slowly repairs it over time outside of combat. Yeah, I don't have furniture like that yet, Thunder. Stop. Listen. <laughs> Stop dragging your balls across my chin. I don't want to hear it, sir. Self-healing cheese lounge. I mean, shit. Why not? Sure. It is company. Can we deal with them? What can it be? Nope. We're not fucking with any of this. Oh, hell no. But my cannonballs are so big and smooth. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even at this point. What's that, Captain? Oh, that is a plague bringer. Nope. We are getting the fuck out of here. Want well, no part of that horse shit either. We'll come back to this. We're heading back to St. Anne. We're repairing the ship. Brought to you from the infinite Ikea. Yes. 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 <laughs> nope, that's it. We're just... On the horizon. Nope, don't care. Don't fucking care. No way, no how, don't care. We're getting out of there. That is a plague bringer. Come, try our Swedish balls. <laughs> so meaty. Hey, over there. Good. Nope, we're nope, we're not not doing nothing. We're just gonna get we're just gonna use that wood. We're looting a green heart. I don't care that we're just looting shit. At this point. Hey, Swedish balls are amazing. They are. Listen, I'm not here to rob you. You're fine. Fuck off. I don't care. We're heading back to home port because I got my ass spanked. And not in the kinky fun way either. Also the meatballs, right? Yeah. <laughs> Off from the port. All right. So now that I have been royally spanked repeatedly in an unpleasant fashion, we're going to head back to St. Anne because I need to repair the ship because holy shit. Uh, we're looking a little rough. Little bit. Okay. Ah, that being said, what? Is 
Capital settlement. Yeah, we're not going over there either. Nope. Sure not. Sure fucking not. I mean, the sales are looking a little rough, that's for sure. Our overall hull is not fit. This ship is not... Yeah, HMCS call. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even I can't he's not wrong that's that's the that's the crazy part of that he is not wrong Fire! oh come on are you kidding me bruh How much stuff was there here? I'll take down. the. Oh, I'm gonna take all of this stuff though. Okay, one second, one one moment, please. Hold on. It's funny how many times a number will call you, pirate. All right, there we go. It's not damage, just gu <laughs> spare gun ports. <laughs> That's right. It's modifications. How do you cr how do you how do you build a gunboat? Add more guns. You gotta make space somewhere, right? Got to grind your way to get in the SS hole puncher. I mean, this ship can be a hole puncher. That's kind of the nice thing. We just got to get some upgraded goodies on it, right? Yeah. 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 Captain, what is that? Don't care, cause we're not going through there, cause we can't. That's if you're sailing around in the Dow. It's not a steamship yet. Yeah, it's that's right. It's not a steamship either. No, no, it is not. It's definitely not. The SS, SS steamship. The SS hole puncher. Oi, get some grub in your bellies. The SSSS. <laughs> it's a steamship after it burns to the water line. <laughs> oh my God. Spain steamship. Is that the same as a Texas steamer? Or am I thinking of something completely different? Oh, that's on Fridays. <laughs> Only on Fridays. Hello, I Robin sixty nine. I Robin. Yes, over there. What is it? Got that? Another sea dog with black flag. Uh, I thought about whacking him. I actually thought about whacking him. Our leaves are spent and our throats are sore. Give us a break. I thought about it. 
Ahab MMO? No, that's on Fridays. <laughs> Ahab MMO. What? What? Why? Nothing. Nothing we've said is against Toss. Nothing that we have spoken about is against Terms of Service. Not a damn thing. Not a one. I don't know if there are servers with PvP on all the time. So that's the th I. How does the PvP work? I guess that's the real question because I don't even understand how the hell the PvP works in this. My brain does the, uh, I know there's PvP, but how does it function? You know, like, how do? We're coming into our own, eh? Poorly? I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say it's poorly, but ship is a full health. There we go. Boom, done. Okay. Okie dokie. those companion warships now. Don't fret so much. The days are numbered anyway. Bugger your ass, It's opt. Oh, it's opt in. That's why. Because I haven't opted in for it. That's why it's not necessarily available to me. Got it. That actually makes sense. Anything to help better. So Mainly comes in after you hit. You have to hit kingpin, and then you have to opt into it. You know what? Makes sense. That's how it works. That's how it works. Uh, we're gonna throw all of that. No, actually, you know what? Hold on. We're gonna do that. 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 Sizel, yeah. Remy. Nickel. I served for many years mm. to become quarter master. I raided many French forts and sunk many fara ships. Transfer all of it to the warehouse. Thank you. My all right, there we go. Is yours, Captain. But it's part of activity. It's part of activities. It's just not, it's not just on. And I can't see if you can just have it turned on all the time. I imagine that there probably is a way to actually turn it on if you really so choose. Okay, so I need flour for that. Raw vegetables, raw beef, raw chicken. Uh, reduces brace mitigation by 20, reduces brace com uh, stamina com uh, compensation. Okay. Ooh, restores repair kit efficiency. I mean, that's not bad. Not bad. 15%. Okay. Reduces tr crew trim. See, that's that. So we need flour. So we're going to go and talk to. Yo, easy, 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 easy. Maybe 100 bucks for all those credits. Net 400. If I sign up for five credits, the community college Toyota will give me 500 off student discount. You'll see. Stock up on repair kits. Okay, we're gonna grab that. We're gonna grab some of that. Some of that. Some of that. We're just grabbing Sharks all the stuff to make food. Like chicken, you know. I'm glad the shark's meat tastes like chicken. Thanks so for letting vigilant. me know. A shark never sleeps. Maybe a hundred bucks for all those credits. If I sign up for five credits, community college, Toyota will give me five hundred off. Is 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 getting a five hundred dollar discount really gonna make that much of a difference in the long term? Wish I had that. <laughs> I was about to say. I I like that, but it's the ethic he says. It's the ethic, he says. Okay, everything else. Wrong one. There we go. Okay. Yeah, raw meat. Okay, we got all the we got all the goodies there. We're gonna throw the fixins in the warehouse for now, just so we don't lose it. If you keep it's probably not even worth my time to do so. To wash this out. Well, and that's the other, right? That's, I guess that's kind of the other thing you have to ask yourself. Like, is it actually worth, worth your time? 
are you going to really truly learn something? If the answer is yes, I mean, by all means, right? Go for it, but. To help. Opportunity cost on my time. Ah, there we go. Uh, turn on the page. So I have to attack St. Amelie on the southern coast of Ile Royale in order to. Bugger your ass over, will ya? Got a job for ya. I think I understand a little bit more now. Okay. A pirate herald report. Investigation clue. A strange black ship has been... I don't care about some fucking prophecy. The sea people will never defeat clad fight. Old Skurlock. He's the pirate king of St. Anne. Don't fuck with him. Like <laughs> that, don't fuck with him. Is boss really helping the sea people? I don't know. Ain't our business to know. Spectral voyages. What is this one here? A strange black ship has been. Okay, well, that's great. So we're in a sloop. In a storm. Mate, I shut my pants. I. Waves. Bigger than Jesus. Like really that waves bigger than Jesus. I hear a fucking massive pirate ship. I don't care. Ah. Pick up newspaper. Brothers and sisters rejoice. Jesus. The beautiful black brigantine that once conquered the seas Holy has finally shit. been stolen and is now Sloop on is a my fucking sea stage rampage. Name. Plain stuff. As you recall, the companion bastards fear the ship. Yet, yeah, they still docked it in their harbour for years. Why, you ask? It's the curse. Indeed, my cullies. I, too, find the Companion a bunch of brainless idiots. Haunted, they say. Cursed, they say. Even their own privateers refuse to sail it. But you know what I say? Those fuckers can fear spirits and ghosts all day <laughs> Goodbye. long while we delight <laughs> in the conduit. that is the Ashen Corsair. Curse? The curse was keeping this warship caged. Look what it can do now. Three merchant ships sunk in one week. All that cargo and silver gobbled up. And oh, they're not done yet. Clearly ships are no longer enough for her. They were last seen plundering Garand, and at this rate, they'll be richer than Skurlock in a month. <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. Okay, mm. so what's that actually all about? That's the real question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get to it. Get get to it, me. <laughs> Dude, do get... Dudes get long... I mean, you know, sometimes people just happen to have that long inner monologue. You're like, you're just trying to speed up your inner you. You're like, get to it. You better pay him back. The Fair Company partnership threatens Skurlock's trade operations in the Red Isle. Plunder a fair settlement while flying company colors to sour relations. Okay. Tooling's demands continue to grow, but a heavy company presence is disrupting Skurlock's operations in the Red Isle. Okay. Blood soaked silver. Tooling's demands for exotic goods, right? Steal exotic goods from coast to Africa for Skurlock. Yeah, that's Every fine. time the company sink one of mine. They gain ground. Enough losses. They'll destroy all my trade routes. No spices, vanilla, calico. Do you know where these go? Are oh, they not for me? They're for my partners in New York. I mean, if the French sever that trade, I might as well be cutting my. You throat. heard him say it's for his partners in New York. Drown those French dogs, and we'll take everything from their masters. The deal I have with New York is the lifeblood of St. Anne, and so the French seek to drain it. 
Hmm. My position depends upon keeping my partners happy. Your role is to frustrate the French. Now see to it. French are good because right now their loan to the U.S. is flowing. Securing our debt and democracy. I love that. Securing our de debt and democracy. All right, we're going to do this one first. Get it finished. All right, relax. Calm your tits, sir. Blood soaked silver. We were founded on debt. I mean, hey, you know what? Fire stuff two out of 10. All right. We need two out of 10. Got it. All right. Godspeed, Captain. All right, well, let's go find us a little bit of him. <clears throat> let's go find us some snuff chat. We're gonna go and uh, go get some of that nose candy. We go find some traditional old school pirate nose candy chat. You have two knee ten. Yep. So we're gonna go hunting. Yeah, that's right. Snuff instant instant cancer rip you clean. I mean, listen. You need to keep hunting, stealing. Yeah, we're gonna keep hunting and stealing. Don't you worry. Don't you worry none. We're gonna keep up. We're gonna keep up. Yes, but didn't we tell the French to get effed on their debt due to their own revolution? I mean, shh. You know, the neon glowing sails just don't do it for me. I'll, I'll be honest. It just doesn't do it for me. Doesn't do it for me, chat. Right, so we've got to go. Select. There we go. Okay, go now we're good. <laughs> On horizon, sail. Don't care. On Let's go. We're the wind, I mean, we'll bed. take the loot though. Free freaking loot. Let's go. Sure, why not? Does that see people? What is it? Clan of Farah, huh? I mean, you know what? Let's go fuck with these guys just because I feel like being a dick right now. On fire! Do you see that? Someone is gathering all the resources. Come on! They are barely afloat now! They cannot hold against us! I'm good. Okay, I feel better now. <laughs> I got my I got my shoots Dion. Franklin disagrees, as do his 50 consorts. When you owe the bank 100, it's your problem. When you owe the bank a billion, it's their problem. I mean, not wrong. Capitan, an outpost in the distance. Not wrong. What's that? I hate to say it, not wrong. <laughs> Man's not wrong. Coconuts. Keisha, don't care. Good well, uh, I mean, I'll grab it if it's just sitting there, but I ain't freaking stopping to harvest it right now. All right, here we, here we go. Here we go. All right. The old Reese's Pieces, see? Look at the sea people wash it! Look! Watch! Stormy weather, boys, when the wind blows We're all together, boys, blow the wind Loose at the sun! Blow the wind blow Jolly Southwester, boys, steady she goes Up jump the air with a slippery What's with that? Up there! That sea people... Um... 
that's actually something I, I've been meaning to want. Okay, you know what? We're going to find out here. Let's interact. Okay. That's all I wanted to check, actually. I should probably de do my P uh, PO8 run. Well, Thunder, I appreciate you hanging out. What's a biolab scientist's favorite candy? Reese's Pieces? Oh my god. Right, so we're gonna go and grab the snuff. Let's go. They'll sink in a moment. Go to the battle line. They can't get away with this. Well, we got four out of ten now. Well, that's one. We're, we're, I'm just being lazy and not wanting to start the game. <laughs> You're like, fuck this. Pieces of eight, by the way. Ah, the piece of eight. Part of the Skull and Bones endgame. Got it. That makes sense. All right. So if we're just hanging around down and around this area here, we should be all right. Bombard crate, don't care. We're gonna loot the jute. All the jute loot riot. That's eh, fair up me. Eh. I actually have six. Oh, I have six pieces. I, I kind of figured I already had some pieces of eight. I remember, I remember something giving it to me. So I was like, eh. Yeah, fire tower. Get wrecked, Get wrecked, Get wrecked, Okay, coconut. Yep, got it. Plant a far up. Man, frankincense. Uncut. Ah, man. Uh, what do we? Oh, nope. We're going that away. All right. Urgh. Ah, uh, into the freaking wing. Come on. Come on, man. Yes, over there. Nope. What is it? Don't want, uh, don't care about the fire warships right now. Doesn't count anything in the cash warehouses when you are at sea. Life of Pi DLC. Just some fl kid floating around. I mean, with the tiger in the, in the, uh, in the rowboat. Many uses for good timber. Roko. We should harvest it. I don't want to harvest it. You can't make me. Don't backseat helm. Listen, you leave my helm alone. 
We're not talking about my helm. What is it? It's not, they got three. Okay, well. There is a bedar in our sight. Got him. They think they can outsail our ship. Hold on, Captain. We're reloading. Don't need to worry about it. Why are you staying in the water? <laughs> Get back, nerd. What are we waiting for? An invitation? Let's board. No, nope, didn't need an invitation either. What do we got over here? Nope. Uh, they got nothing. They got nothing. There's a bidet in your sights. A badar, not a bidet. God damn it. I'm not necessarily terrible at this. I'm not fantastic. Yarr, be cleaner. <laughs> Just... The pirate jokes are real right now. It's it's kind of getting a little insane, actually. What on? F I mean, I kind of feel like I want to go check that out, but on the other hand, I'm like, no, fuck that. I don't want to check it out. It's like, uh, no. That looks like it's a whole lot of fucking, it looks like stranger danger, and I'd rather not, you know? Port side, huh? I see the port side, but Nope. Yes, over there. What is it? Nope. <sighs> There we go. All right. Fire away! Oh, sweet Jesus. They are making their way out. Into the water. There we go. We got, oh, is that? that around and get fucked the that's an orc building I don't care what you say I braved the barons yeah <laughs> it's Super fucking cross right slider it's crossroads all over again right It's crossroads chat all over again. Holy shit. Woo! This these these poor cannons got some spice to them. All that now very hostile. I mean. 
You know what? We're gonna do it. I don't care. We're we're gonna play it like we play in it. Island of the Moon. All right. Deliver the stuff. Well, I think we can do that now. We're good. <laughs> we good. Bone thugs. Yeah. Bone thugs have ended chat. Moderately annoyed to slightly perturbed. There we go. There we go. We're now neutral. We're fine. This this is fine. Don't worry. We're good now, chat. We're good. Coconuts. Coconuts. It's always about the goddamn coconuts, isn't it? All right. We got this one done. Let's go. Let's go collect it. Bum bum. <laughs> bum bum. Bum bum. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What do we got over here? What have we got over here? What's that? Far up. Eh. Whole lot of sweet fuck all. Nothing worth freaking okay, even breaking a sweat there. for. Nothing yeah, worth breaking a that? sweat for. What's that? What a horse eh, broadsider. It's just a buddy what come. Eh. Not worth it. Mm, you know what? I'm not even. No, we we already got what we needed. We're good. We're good. Dad already got what he needed. All right. So, right. I think we come. Yeah, we're gonna come around. Oh, that was shit. How the f Oof. We're gonna steal their shit. Fuck it. Let's go. Bonus loot found. We're just taking all the stuff. Nope. All your looter belong to me now. All your looter belong to me. Someone get Grandpa's specs. Shh. Fire, Captain. Shh. Don't move here now. Fire. Oh, we're way too close. It stopped us? Really? I didn't even think that was a thing. Well, here we go. Apparently it is. Tom, how are you doing? I like that. Someone get Grandpa has specs. No. <laughs> no. Why that everything you have? How you doing, Tom? Ten cannonballs, that's all we got. I mean, you want to play F around to find out? We can do this.
Yeah, it looks about right. Excuse me? Oh, uh, it's close enough. It, pardon me? Host left the cell. What, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. What is this bullshit about? Host left the session. Yeah, I got ejected. <laughs> I definitely got ejected. Don't eject me from my game, you bastards. Don't do that. Don't eject me from my game. I'll get upset. I will get upset if you eject me from a goddamn game. Servers are 18 people and hosted by ourselves. That is stupid. That is dumb. So that means that I connect with somebody else. What the? That is the dumbest effing. That is the dumbest effing thing ever. E yeah, ejecto cedo cuz yeah, pretty much exactly how that just went down too. That is incredibly frustrating and obnoxious. Oi, get some grub in your bellies. That is actually a little obnoxious. Little obnoxious. The is quite enough, Captain. That's over there. I'd be damned. What is it? It's a little obnoxious. At least checkpointed you at a D. Yeah. Guess their transfer system either doesn't work or they don't have one. Something along those lines, I guess. Yeah. If you open social, you will see your server. So if I, wait, so if I go here and go to social, where do I go for that? Oh, social. <sighs> that is so just obnoxious that is incredibly obnoxious like seriously whoa hey hey now hey now hey hey now i've not seen any progress lost from it happening it is very annoying yes can confirm definitely annoying i'm glad like don't get me wrong i'm glad that we don't lose progression because of this but it is obnoxious Because that means then you are you are beholden to another person being online and as soon as they're bounced offline and like there's no guarantee that you're going to be hosting and it's like it's that, that is such a messed up system. There are better ways to do online games. Better ways to do a, a live service title. This just ain't it. This ain't it. And again, don't get me, I love Ubisoft. I actually like this game. I really do like Skull and Bones. But that has got to be one of the dumbest online systems. Like, full stop. Have you guys heard any news when Star Trucker comes out? They did their demo. Uh, for next fest, so. Yeah, like uh, what is it, July or July or something like that? July, or, July or August? Uh, I did the demo, Tom. It's not nearly as good as you might think. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. You might want to temper your expectations. It's okay, but it's not great either. Now, that being said, you don't get everything in the demo that you normally do in the full game, but you might want to temper your expectations. Again, go in with no expectations. You can't be disappointed. 
but as somebody who played the demo during next seems next fest and just check to check it out i wasn't impressed i wasn't impressed but again that's just me personally that doesn't necessarily mean that you or someone else isn't going to enjoy it all i'm trying to say is critical thinking will get you a lot further especially when you don't expect it to be like top tier don't go in with expectations and you'll you you then set yourself up so you can't be disappointed by it right Look at the thief people march on. March for it. if that makes sense long yeah and it's yeah it is definitely not american truck in space not even fucking close Was its downside? It's awkward and complicated control scheme. It didn't visually, it wasn't all that great. Some of the gameplay mechanics weren't fantastic. But again, it was a demo. It just isn't nearly as much fun as you might think. But again, I'm speaking per my personal experience from playing the demo. Right? Yeah, the mouse and keyboard controls are freaking ass. Yes, 100%. The control scheme is just oof. Yep, controller was definitely... If you don't have a controller, don't try to play it. You'll want to smack your face with it. You would have more fun smacking your face with a brick. How's that? <laughs> If you do not play, if you do not have a controller for your PC to play video games, you're right. The, it, it, it's not going to be a fun time for you. Don't care about behind us. I'm currently looking in front of us. How much stuff do we have? I mean, we're not running out of stuff. We got plenty. And the, again, I, I'm just stating my personal experience and K&M is like I race it. Oh my God, you can do it, but you probably, yeah, you probably shouldn't. But again, I'm only speaking personally and I'm giving you what I personally think. That doesn't mean, what is that? H Z H Z D. Wait, what? What, 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 what? What is HZD? Hides, I like that. 13 USC hides wallet. Uh, so, oh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, that's a good one. I've played it. That game is beautiful. It is, it is gorgeous. And it is, it plays really well on PC. 13 bucks ain't that bad, I'll be honest. So next week, just so just so we're clear, right? If it's like 2030, I'll get Star Trucker. Might not be released purchase. Yeah, same. You. That was a tough storm, eh? Every crew wants a captain like that. Heard the latest captain. Yeah, we okay. We okay. All right, let's go turn some let's go turn this in, shall we? That ale must have been tainted. Like that, that ale must have been tainted. All right, well, let's go talk to Skurlock. Oh, and it's a complete edition, even better. For 13 bucks, that's not a bad Took purchase, a honestly. And mighty fine crew to ride out that tempest. Mm. Mm. My father, warped as he was, loved his son. My elder brother, his little prince. Kind of like Skull and Bones, good past the time, but not a main game. Yeah, yeah. Well, for me, not a main game. Nothing but the lash. So, um, past brother was crestfallen. We're we're currently playing so Skull and Bones uh, because it is we do have drops enabled, and as a Ubisoft partner, 
Uh, we were one of the few people who were allowed to, who were able to have drops activated. Only 750 people through the partner program had the ability to actually offer up, um, offer up drops. So I was like, you know what? We're going to do this. Time hasn't done. And, uh, but tomorrow might is kind of up in the air we might continue on with skull and bones but we oh, might God, actually do a side by side right, with my wheelbase my fanatech past. wheelbase and my but roommate's new uh uh moza r5 man. it's gonna be a while before this comes out on you know unfortunately but ample takings i mean i'll take an extra 575 I'll do it. Godspeed. Like that. Captain. Godspeed, Captain. Arr, we're now a remont. Uh, we're now a marauder, so we've at least, you know. Sailing on a company ship is like living. All right, so let's have a quick look at our thing here and see what we got. I know we can do better. I like that. I know we can do better. Yes. Yes, we can. Uh, we're going to mark that. That. Rockets. Get rid of them. Brad, get rid of it. Ballista. Get rid of that. 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 Culver and Grinder 1. Fuck. Sucked all. Transfer to warehouse. Okay. There we go. Boom. Done. Um, don't need to repair. Do we? Nope, don't have anything new. Okay. Out a month, the Ubisoft Connect Plus thingy to play it. Nice. 50. Yeah. I mean, myself, like, I've got this purely because I, I, I do have, I am in a partnership with Ubisoft. So it's one of those, you know, like, not gonna lie, Ubisoft offers. I'm gonna be like, you know, it's not necessarily a terrible idea. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I don't have the rec hmm. Obtained through mail after reaching Marauder 1. Obtained through mail. May your travels lead you to warm sands. Excuse me. There we go. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Check the mailbox. Let's retrieve the damn mail, shall we? Son of Liberty. Uh, we're going to throw that into the warehouse. Thank you. Uh-huh. Who bloody well drinks tea when there's plenty of rum out? What's wrong with tea? I mean, don't get me wrong. I like rum, but what's do, wrong with tea? Do you need more from me? Oh, I'm only just Marauder, so I don't have... Mm. Right. Oh, open the chest. Yeah, open the chest first, of course. Of course. Wrong one. There we go. There we go. Hold on. <laughs> Shit. All right, uh, let's access warehouse. And your fleet grows. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. Open it, please. Spyglass, hunting spear, rocket. I mean, rapid firing rocket launch and sends barrages of fiery missiles, burning two. I'd like to sell again in Zanjiao. Back in the day, alcohol was safer than water, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That is very true. Finally to help. Yeah, spray and pray. Yep, it's it's just it's just like a spray and pray. Yup. Honest and trigger. VP, 
Do you need okay. more from Does me? Does that mean I can actually do this? I need zinc ingot, juniper plank, sheet glass. Holy shit. Okay, what about this? We'll make that though. Sure, we'll 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 do Yeah, why not? Let's go. Could I have done this instead? Yes. Do I care? No. Definitely not. All right, what else we got here? No, no, no. No, 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 no. Gunpowder bench. Pinch of this, little dash of that. Increases damage to enemy ships. I need more pain plank of fuck. Hook. God damn it, Billy. Enhanced repair kit one. All right, well, fuck. I killed the merchant that. Not a fan of the rockets. Yeah, I can't imagine. There seem to be people. I've seen some people that seem to be really good with My the freaking rockets. Yours, Captain. Bombardier, uh, bomb yeah, bomb bombardier. Um, that's the blaster. So we're currently in the blaster. What do I need for the Vanguard for the snow class? That is, Cor I need Corsair one. All right. Well, all right. Fair enough. All right. May the tide bring you back. It keeps coming up with La Colony, but uh, I'm not doing that. Hold on one moment. Okay. Right. Uh, there we go. Oh, how how do you find the mortars, by the way? Heard the latest, Captain. Of course you haven't. If you haven't heard it from me. How do you find the mortars at the moment? Uh, all right. So let's let's get into our map here really quick. Uh, we'll do our. Whoa, 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 what the hell? Knowledge, there we go. Codex. Yeah. Culvern, okay, Culvern 4. I do, okay, wait. Perks, Raider, oh, Basilisk. <sighs> Tearing Culvern, Basilisk 1, heavy bronze Culvern aptly named after the deadly mythic serpent designed to render ships vulnerable to crew attacks tearing culvern three basilisk three carronade Ooh, i'll mm. i need to be king <laughs> kingpin one for that damn ah uh, what Whoa, 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 what? Found in the Red Isle, purchasable from Ferriman uh, Merchant in Royal Burial Ground. Okay, well. Dummy cannon, dummy cannon. All right, well, we got enhanced dummy cannon, which is the flooding, right? Zamzama. Um, purchasable from the corrupt company officer in Elder's Cave. Need to be Corsair 1 for that, for the Zamzama 2. Ooh. Long nine front and back and Bardinelli mortars on each side. If you track it, it'll show you where the... Yeah, that's... So... The, you're a pirate, are you? Downloading Star Trekers demo now. Gonna give it a solid. I mean, give it a try. I'm not. I'm not gonna say that like not to try it. G by all means, give it a try, right? But okay. See, I can make that. Enhanced long gun. Fire long gun two. Ooh, 
Skurlock's Chasers, which we currently have. Purchasable from John Skurlock. Wait. I can buy these from Skurlock? Running long gun bow, tearing culver and sides, torps rear, mortar center. I mean, that sounds... I can... He sells the blueprint for the chasers. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, I've got repair bombards, fire bombards. But the chaser's not good. Wait for long nine. Gerlock the Murloc. Have girl for coin. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Rama's ambition. Enhanced torpedoes, huh? Want to change change the torps out for something else, though? Oh, auxiliary. Uh, rockets. Okay, what do we got? Enhanced rocket. Uncommon. Rapid firing rocket that launch uh, launcher that sends barrage of firing missiles. Damage nine thousand. Burning two. Heard the latest, Captain. Of course you have. This will be given out as a contract reward. Can be purchased from the blacksmith in Telok Panjara. Termites rocket launcher originating from the Far East with a higher angle of aiming to attack taller structures more easily. So rockets are good for attacking structures by the by the sound of it. You know what? That actually kind of makes sense. Layered scales, iron husk. Volatile fuel, sticky fuel, chains locker, yeah, leather rope grips, reduce crew stamina depletion when trimming sails by 15%, the balanced mast, where, oh, that's easy, hi Nuts Life, how are you, don't, don't you listen to me, sir, hi Nuts Life, what are you doing, hmm, how are you, fancy a little work? Instead of faffing about on your ship. Grill Prime Crocodile. Yeah. Not really a big thing I'm big on. Sate Kambing. Reduces true crim stam trim crew stamina consumption when trimming sails by 30%. Uh, reduces brace stamina consumption by 20%. Reduces stamina regen by 50%. Or restores stamina regen by 50%. That's not actually that bad. Shit. Hells yes. I love rugby, especially when my ankle cooperates. I mean, I'm glad that you're enjoying. Hey, it's Ragu. I'm, you know, happy to hear that it, it you know, rugby's working for you. That, that's, that's always a good thing. Bitter ballin'. Okay. So, yeah. All right. There we go. I think that takes care of all of that. Let's let's get that done. Bitter ballin, yes please. Uh no. Mm. I'm I'm not buying the bitter ballin. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Um Okay. Um Yeah, there's a little bit of bitter ballin. Sounds like a club name. Tiger Shadow. Well, yeah, we'll throw that on for now. Why not? Right, right. Yep. Okay. But they're delicious with mustard. Ugh. It, not slave. Listen, you're not helping your case. <laughs> That's like saying you'll never eat chicky nuggies without freaking ketchup. Like, <laughs> I love a good blunder. Take charge, Captain. 
Yeah, if you're gonna eat chicky nuggies, you need to eat the chicky nuggies with freaking. No, 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 no. Use plum sauce. Or sweet and sour. Or honey. Like raw honey. All right, corrupt company camp um what do we look see i yes yes badger yes can confirm we will have to agree on that yes right so the crown of oh, oh. no don't care about that let's let's go to Let's go to our journal. Okay, you know what? We're yeah, we're just yeah, we're just gonna do this. All right, we're gonna head out. Raise the sails. Open out the sails. No, ketchup is nasty. Pirate journal full of feelings. There's no feelings in there. I don't recall seeing anything bad. No damn feelings in there. What feelings? They can watch us. I ain't fucking around with them. <laughs> We're not here for them. clowns the mad diver night claws rogue oh the rogues pirate they have pirate stuff they want to watch that cost that's right exactly if they want to watch it costs extra can confirm don't care we're not stealing from the sea people we like them right now anyway Bog iron. Eh. Eh. All right, so. We are more bloated than Anguru, Captain. Couple of things. Uh, oops. So, Dad got busy last night, made some new merch. Uh, there's two new mugs and two brand new shirts. So if you want to check that out, there's a link for that. If you help out with the trying to reach these goals, um, uh, Zawul has already mentioned that she and I will head to, um, head to McCulloch's and pick up some goofy ass hats and stuff for, for the stream. What are you coming? Oh, yeah, contract, no. Yeah, uh, there's two brand new mugs, Nuts Life, that you have not collected yet. Two. There's the, um, Utini Jawa Java. I just added them yesterday, the Utini Jawa Java is one of them and the other one is the Richard Scorpions Toronto as in Dick Scorpions I <laughs> love that that's like he's like fuck yes and there are two brand new t-shirts both are the Utini Jawa Java one is a t-shirt the other one is a long sleeve shirt So yes, dad made new merch yesterday. Last night, specifically. While I had a video in the render queue.
Ah, uh, that was dumb. Okay, we're gonna slow her down, slow her down, slow her down. A mistake on their part. <laughs> that was a mistake on all their parts. The bork, boss. Bork. Yeah, you heard the dog. Yeah, the dog is being a little obnoxious right now. Okay, a lot. My roommate came home. He normally, when he when he comes home, he goes, you know, does his thing really quick after getting home from work, and then takes the dog for a bit of a walk. Takes, you know, depending. Takes her over to the dog park, whatever, right? Sometimes she gets a little freaking excited and doesn't want to be uh, sit still to get her leash put onto her. And she gets a little uh, freaking snarky about it. That's being nice. That's being nice about it. Yeah, so we're going to... Okay, as we continue on, we're, we're going to stop at the outpost first because I want to... I want to check with the merchant here. Now that I, you know, I'm figuring all this shit out about it, like, you've got to buy certain things from merchants in order to unlock them to make, to make them for yourself. Just want to stop here, to, uh, you know, at Fort Louis. Sales down. Get those sheets down. All right, so, uh, <laughs> let's, uh, company officer, you got anything? Uh, buy and sell. Fire bombard? Yeah, sure, we'll buy that. Buy that. Long gun too? Sure, why not? Bombard works? Sure. Buy it. Well, we're just buying all the things, okay? Company garbs. Legion's resolve. Yeah, sure, we'll buy that. Already owned and there we go. for you, huh? Yeah, okay. All right. Safe travels. That's all I need. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all I've got here, right? Oversee. What? 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 Wait! 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 Looking to trade. Oh. No request, huh? Okay, fine. Oh yeah. What do we got? Wait a minute. This is quite the cart trail coming up here, by the way. Never really paid much attention to some of these settlements, and I think that's a mistake on my part. Okay, rogue trader. Talk to me if you wish yeah. to trade. What do we got? What do we got? Ballista bolts. Okay, yeah. Curly facial hair. Curly long hair. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, all right, well, uh, fair enough. Accompany your voyage. Fair enough. Pick up the durian. The durian? They got durian up here? Please. Y'all, who here, here's the thing. Who here knows what durian is? Yeah, Sleepy's like durian. Ew! I'm pretty sure Sleepy's familiar. For business. <laughs> Sleepy's familiar. <laughs> An uncomfortable butt thing. <laughs> durian is pretty nasty. That's factually correct. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, no, but I guess you could possibly turn it into a weird, uncomfortable butt thing if you really wanted to. Not really sure why, but hey, uh, beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Have you seen it? it? I mean, yes, I have seen durian. It does look terrible. It looks like a prickly ball of just nasty. It smells gross, too. It smells disgusting. It tastes even worse, and it looks gross and very unpleasant. Uh, 
Okay, I better get some good at digging up this goddamn treasure chest. That's all I gotta say. It looks terrible. Psh, that's yeah. All right, Bloody Bones, last note. My dear Manganirina, I still remember the spring you died. You were ten. I was twelve. Remember the landowner, Charlotte's father? He gave us a handful of sugar once. I thought he was so nice. Until he caught you with that sapphire ring you found. The one you loved so much. No food for a month. He chose as your punishment. I wasn't allowed to share my meals with you. Even as your cheeks hollowed into rotting sores. Ooh, Jesus. The Hi, Jay. Death Crow, how are you? Charlotte so, promised that's we'll a thing assistance. to hear the first time in a stream. But yes. Yes, it is. Welcome. <laughs> Death Crow, hello. I've been hunting them down all Jay, dressed in blue, how are you? Feeding them their also precious gems and silver when they wouldn't even feed you bread. But the sapphires... The sapphires were all for you, my beautiful little sister. Now, I'm the one dying, growing weaker by the day. I can't fight them anymore, but I can make sure they never forget us. I will let them take me to the heart of the obscene city they built on our backs and cast them all for eternity. Damn. Just fell down the what? Jay, how did you fall down the stairs, kid? H how? All right, just finished my trial hours this morning. Just trying to get a look uh, more skull and bone stuff to see. Well, welcome on in. Yeah, uh, yeah. So durian, large fruit with strong odor, covered with covered with thorns. Yes, yes, it is, and it's nasty. We're gonna select that. We're gonna open that. Let's see what we got. Death's hand. <gasps> Did we? We just got a oh two thousand silver. Chat. Did we just? Hey, can. Oh, we're so putting that in there. Let's go. She gnaws on bones. Unlocked by completing the blood. Oh, my. Prickly pear. Yeah, prickly pear. It sounds like. Uh, yeah, durian. Durian actually tastes worse than the prickly pear, though. You missed a step. <laughs> Best fucking lemur ever. Sea urchin fruit. Yeah, pretty much. Sea urchin actually smells better than a durian. <laughs> Best lemur ever. Let's go. Oh wait, we got even, we got even more stuff. Okay, I mean, listen, you want to give us more stuff? I mean, sure, we'll take it. I ain't gonna say no. Best lemur ever. What? Why is it telling me? No, there's. There is nothing else here. Oh, oh, that's what it was. Okay, I was like, wait a minute. Okay, now we good. Now we good. All right, let's get out of here. For the limited time I was able to play, it isn't bad, but I don't know how much there is to do later, and the price feels a bit much. I don't know. I'm still on the fence. Um, so. I, I am lucky enough to be a Ubisoft partner. That being said, uh, while I enjoy this game, I would actually suggest that maybe waiting until you can get it on sale might be a better play. Now, that being said, I don't know what the future holds. We are only just, it just launched. We are only into season one. So who's to say what kind of plans they have for this in the future? Give it a couple of months. Keep your eye on it. Watch a couple of people streaming it. And, you know, just sort of 
really effectively just play it by ear, right? Just keep an eye on it. Keep watching it. See what you think. Um, the one thing I will say, though, it was a, it was a little presumptuous what of Ubisoft it? CEO to say that this was a quadruple A title. I would say this is, might be high up on a double A. It's not quite triple A. And this this is as somebody who is partnered with Ubisoft, but I can also be critical of game developers that I work with. Now, I'm not going to dump on them because I do think that this game does have a lot of merit. There are a lot of things to do. I understand that it turned hands a couple of times. There were different managers that came in. We're trying to do different things. You know, the, the actual devs physically working on the project had to rebuild things time and time again as new people in management came in and kind of mess with things. I get that. That can really play havoc. And Jay, I am sorry that you missed a step and you fell down the stairs. By the way, if you're new here and you don't understand why I'm talking to Jay dressed in blue in such a man, in such a fashion, she's my youngest daughter, right? And unfortunately, she and I do not live in the same town, but thank you for letting me know though, Jay. Jay, how's school going for you? Them calling this a quadruple A is like Jensen saying kids should no longer. Yeah, holy, don't even get me started on the whole freaking Jensen, Jensen and Nvidia saying, oh, kids shouldn't learn how to code. That is some bullshit. That is legitimate. They're like, yeah, kids shouldn't even bother learning how to code. They're not going to need to do it by the time it comes around anyway because computers are just going to do it automatically because AI. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, hell no. no. <laughs> For me, I'm a big Ubisoft supporter. I love their games, but I feel limited with just ship movement, not being able to go into cities, etc. cetera. Well, and that's the thing. Like, so we're, n let's be, str let's be 100% honest and straight up at this point. We are never going to get what we got from Black Flag. Skull and Bones is never going to be Black Flag 2. Never going to happen. We're not going to get the ability to actually properly board ship in the third person. We're never going to be able to get off ship and actually explore in the third person other than going to, you know, ports, right? And then it's going to be very limited. We are not going to get that Black Flag experience that a lot of people were expecting. Um, which honestly is very unfortunate. I, I personally feel that they could have done a lot more with this. But what they have provided us is pretty decent. Um, and, and right. So we'll get back to this with Death Crow in a moment because ads are going freaking. Can somebody throw down exclamation? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Jay, because you're not subscribed anymore. So unfortunately, yes. I'm sorry, kiddo. She's like, I missed my subscription. Jay Dressed in Blue used to be a subscriber to my channel. No, <laughs> she's not. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Sleepy. Yeah. Um, it's just an automatic thing, chat. So yeah, you, you get about two minutes of ads, give or take. Unfortunately. Yes, over there. What is it? Drop Man, what you just Oh, did you hear me, Jay? Hey, boy. Oh, don't just hear the old man say goodbye, fare thee well. Goodbye, fare thee well. Oh, don't just hear the old man say hurrah, good boys. You're homeward bound. Find your bearing, Goodbye, fare thee well. Goodbye, fare thee well. Where all of them duties they well come down. Hurrah, me boys. We're homeward bound. And when we get all right, so um, what I was saying though, uh, Death Crow, is that um, I know a lot of people were expecting this to effectively be Black Flag 2. Yeah, it was over by the time I sent that. Yeah, I know that those stairs hurt, kiddo. I remember what the stairs in the house were like, okay? I lived there, too. 
I saw enough of your bruise, yours and your sister's, and your mother's bruised knees and ankles from falling down or falling up the stairs. Or the cat trying to kill people. I remember. Pepperidge Farm remembers, okay? <laughs> I remember that shit, okay? <laughs> But yeah, Death Crow, um, I know a lot of people were expecting this to be effectively Black Flag 2. Never going to happen. We're never going to see what we got from Black Flag, unfortunately, right? And that's the thing. So we're never going to get that off-ship feeling that everybody was hoping for. It's... The game itself, the way it's designed, is too limiting to be able to do that, unfortunately. And, you know, it, it, it is a shame, but it is what it is, right? Like, we just kind of have to accept this is what we've, what we've been given, and we might not like it, but here we are, you know. Well, it, not Indonesia, Singapore specifically. Um, but there, was, there were too many changes with management that screwed things up. There was, like... There was a there was a lot that like every every time they turned around the game got changed, which personally I feel really bad for the uh, for the devs the people actually working on the game because like how do you keep up like shit was changing on a regular basis management styles would change and people it was like people were trying to change how things were done and it's like it gets very confusing right. And it's like, you know, like, how, how do you, how do you get around that? Okay, that's the colony. That's what we're going for. Okay, we're going to go around this way, though. But the thing is, though, is it wasn't just, it wasn't just uh, Studio Singapore that was involved in this. We had Studio Montreal. We had Studio Paris. There were a lot of a lot of different Ubisoft studios that were involved in the creation of of Skull and Bones, right? Now, the vast majority of it, the vast bulk of it was Singapore, right? No, it wasn't just only Singapore. There there were multiple stu there were multiple Ubisoft studios involved in this. Now, Singapore was the main but they were not the only studio involved. Hi, Zool. How are you? How's your day been? Okay, we're gonna disembark. So Singapore wasn't the only studio involved. Corrupt company officer. Okay, let's see what you got for me. Wish. Oh, torpedo. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna buy torpedo. A Fortress, Torpedo Crate, Restoration Kit. Okay, we already have that. Torpedo Grinder. Oh, the barge. Here we go. Oh, baby. What else we got? Oh, I need to be Cutthroat 1 in order to get the Kalanikos Flame 2. Ooh, 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 ooh. Daddy wants it. I want it so bad. Daddy wants it so bad. Without sounding too critical, I say it feels restricting as it ta uh, takes away elements of piracy. Yeah, and and that oh that God. is the downside. So I know a lot of us, and myself included, I'm 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 part of this this group too. That I was kind of hoping that we would get more of the Black Flag experience, right? And I'm saying this because I worked as a tester and Q and QA on Black Flag. So I got to see that whole development scene behind it, right? And I freaking loved it. I thought it was fantastic. So I was kind of looking at Skull and Bones was going to be like Black Flag 2. And I own it. I'm a little disappointed too. I'm still enjoying it. But I had set expectations for Skull and Bones, which I should have learned a long time ago. Don't set expectations. Never, 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 never buy into the hype. Never set expectations for a new game release. Because you're setting yourself up immediately for, for disappointment when you do that. Anyway, um, as I was saying, though, I was expecting, you know, that if we're going to be, be doing boardings, like if we're, if we're boarding, oh my God, look at the bugs here. This is terrible. Uh, that the boarding would be, you know, third person. 
like how we had it in Black Flag, where we could like we were like actually boarding the freaking ship. I was kind of looking forward. I'm thinking, yo, if we get boarding like that, that's gonna be so good. Yeah. By the way, um, Jay dressed in blue. Did did you did you enjoy finally meeting Zool? Like meeting her? Or are you like, nah? <laughs> it's I never listen to any. Thanks for the five biddies, by the way, Zool. Also, um, again, I'm gonna make mention of this because I want everybody to be fully and firmly aware. We have new merch. Two new shirts, two new mugs. So four pieces of merch. We have the Utini Jawa Java mug. And we have the Richard Scorpions Toronto mug. But we also have two different Utini Jawa Java t-shirts. Well, one is a t-shirt and the other one is a long sleeve shirt. Cause you know, decided, hey, why not? We're uh, we're gonna we're gonna throw some new merch up. Why the hey diddly a not, right? Is these con a can yeah, we'll pick up some cannonball sure, why not? Extra twelve, why not? Uh you look Okay, listen, stop drinking. You've got a problem, okay? Booze is not going to save you, Ace. Booze ain't saving you. Uh, Rogue Trader, no. Let us speak. Uh, I don't need to talk to you about nothing, okay? Ma'am? Ma'am, no. No, ma'am. Nuh uh. These mosquitoes are freaking hard. But yeah, I was kind of hoping for more of that, like, kind of a throwback to Black Flag. And we didn't get it. And you know what? That's fair. We didn't get it. It sucks we didn't get it. It saved Edward to a point. I mean, right? <laughs> but Zool, thank you. Thank you so much for the five bits. A stamina boost. Welcome back, Casper. Welcome back, Casper. How was your day, Zool? I spent my morning fighting with YouTube over copyright stupidity. stupidity. Still a little. I'm a little peevish about it, chat. Oh, what are those? Those look like ballistas. Yeah, and I don't need any of those. Uh, you look drunk too. Awesome. So many drunks around here. Does everybody on these islands have a freaking drinking problem? Like, what the hell? The woodshed mug picture is a bit. Of, yeah, don't worry about that. I've got to fix that. I've got to fix that. Don't worry about the woodshed mug. Some of the mugs need to be fixed. The Scott's Arcade mug has actually been updated. Um, the logo is actually on both sides now. Who are you looking at? Nothing, obviously, because you're freaking drunk. Dongus? Usually, I'm used to there being more than one route into these spots, but that one was, like, very odd. Very, very odd indeed. The company officer. Uh, do we, oh, 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 wait for it. What do we got out here? So my main thing about being on the fence is that what, what I can do later on. Will getting better ships make it more enjoyable or will it make it still feel the same as when I have my lower tier ships? Obviously combat should be different. Um, so as, uh, oil canisters. Nope. Oh, we're picking up the book though. Um, yeah. So I've gotten into the my uh, my sloop. So it's a it's a tier th it's like a a, a tier three ship. Seems I've got it upgraded to tier six at this point. Um, the sloop is actually a lot of fun, and I will say that having the bigger bigger faster ships does make a bit of a difference. Do you like easier? Do you like struggle uh, struggle busting? I mean, sometimes struggle busting can be fun though. Let's not let's not beat around that bush. But I mean, yeah, it does kind of come down to like, like what the what the what what kind of expectations you set for yourself or. Mm, I'm just gonna leave these boys alone for the time being. I kind I want that boat. I want the broadsider, man. Look at that thing. That thing looks beefy. Now let's get out of here. Uh, oh, we're going the wrong way. Shiza. Uh, you know what? We'll just 
Let's turn around. We'll go around the island here. That's okay. We don't have anything. Don't worry. We got nothing. Don't worry about it. None. Okay. Depends on well, and that's exactly it. Depends on what you want out of the game too, right? Like Thunder Wolf is considerably further along than I am. Well, and that's the thing. If you're working together with a group, you want like somebody who's got DPS. You want a ship that's got like uh, that that's built to be a tank. You you know like you want those different levels, right? Um, you've got support ships, right? So and. Now this thing, if I remember correctly, you can only get like five people grouped together. So it's not like you're going to have like massive fleet battles. Oh, oops. Uh, you know what? No. <laughs> Screw it. Your stuff is mine now, bastards. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I bumped them. They uh, they kind of like did the thing. And I was like, you know what? We're just going to shoot them. Tag with it. Tag with it. We're just shooting them. For me, the end game isn't all that interesting, but it's something to do to pass the time. Now, is that just... Do you think... So, Thunder, do you think that's just because, uh, because this is so new that the end game isn't fully developed yet? Right? Like they just launched it. We're just into the first season of it. And they haven't like really added in anything that would really truly be classified as endgame. Yeah, I think I found the powder keg too. I mean, it also helped that I was like point blank range with broadsides. <laughs> I've got some pretty decent weapons on this thing. Uh, I don't know if it's that we don't know the roadmap per se. I don't think we have a full picture though, right? Like, Captain, what do you make of that? Captain, it is company, just me. I see cells in the distance. Look at the bow. I can see the settlement. Captain. Well, we're in the right spot, chat. We need to plunder this place. I'm not one for Pete. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, I, I, I know that the this does have PvP. I'm not really 100% certain on. I find the end game repetitive. No real goal to aim for. Oh yeah, no. There's definitely gonna be P You know damn well that they're gonna have like freaking DLC for this. Are you kidding me? Okay. That's a merchant. Okay. Yeah, for the trial time, I had I had it. Uh, I had it. Felt like a time passer, but it didn't. Yeah, it didn't wow you. Okay, we're gonna start plunder. We need to do it. Let's go. Off they go, baby. On fire! They are hiding that truth somewhere. On fire! Let's shoot them! Holy shnikes! Oh, Bombard! Oh! Bombard suck! Ugh! Still reloading, Captain! Sustain! Freaking DPS, bitch! Okay, that one's done. E all right.
Looks like Unguana is with me. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, Costa Africa, East Indies, yep. It will be a good haul, Captain. Okay, there we go. Ow! Oh, where in the hell did that come from? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where the hell did that come from? Come on, baby. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> okay, we need to get that. There we go. Let's get that going. Blue tall. I need, we need to get this to the final stage, chat. I've done hundreds of hours in Division 2, so I get that coming with back every now and then. Yeah. Whiffed it. We're whiffing it, chat. We're whiffing it. <laughs> Let's go. it all let's go oh shit oh lord i didn't want all of that shit but it's too late that's right swim with the fishes I love that. They're hiding that loot somewhere. Where are they hiding the goddamn loot? Prepare yourself! Okay! What is this? Do, 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 boom, boom, butter, da, dum, butter, dum, bum, 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 b
no, 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 that's, no, that's, that's fine. No, we, we, like, trust me, we're, we're the kind of place that, you know, that's, come, you want to talk about games? You want to talk, like, shit, that, that's all good, man. All good. Oh, shit, that hurt. Oh, you fucking chongus. Let's go! Boarding complete, give me your stuff. Did you listen to those bastards? Frickin' skirmisher, this goddamn ramming boat. Exactly. There is nothing wrong with like using a little bit of critical thinking, right? One crate of rare metals. Ooh, let's go! Plunder's done. Now I'm home, home. Oh, you're home, home? Were you still on the road back from work? Or were you at the uh, dog park? <laughs> okay, I love that. Location is recovering. Yes, yes, I'm sure it is. Uh, return to the blacksmith with the crate of rare metals. We're going back, baby. Being critical in terms of what you are looking for and expecting is... No, yes, 100%. No, 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 no. There is nothing wrong with it. Okay, so here's the thing. There is, there is, there's a massive difference with being critical like of a developer and a title. Or, you know, or being critical, um, you know, or being hateful. Being critical, it means you're thinking it through. You're trying to like, I was on the way home from dog park getting food. Oh, what food did you get? The food, what, is it? what food did you get? And believe me, there is nothing wrong with that. That that is that is that is a smart way to think, right? Ooh, all you want with chicken bits? Okay, I mean, hey, nothing wrong with some chicken bits. Okay, one second, hold on. Yeah. Oh, you want the chicken BLT sandwich? Chicken BLT sandwich. Excuse me, I would... Where's, where's my, where's, there we go. I'm like, where's the loot? Bow pain planks, there we go. Oh, baby. Oh, look at all the good stuff we're getting in here. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Oh, didn't mean to do that, but all right. Well, that happened. Shit. There, someone is hoarding all the goods. Set 
Chimkintiri, hi! <laughs> hi, Tech, how are you? Are you good? Okay, so we're, we're gonna cut through down this way. Chicken bits sound kind of gross. I mean... <laughs> I, she means BLT. So you went to oh, so you went to Harvey's, got the chicken BLT sandwich. Gotcha. Unguana warship. Unguana. Unguana. Unguana fishing boat is approaching. Veda. Teak. I mean, we can get some. We're we're just gonna grab a little bit of the teak over here. Tiki 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 Happy late birthday. Thanks, Tech. I appreciate that. Yeah. Birthday was Sunday. Turned 51. Actually, technically, I'm 35 with 16 years experience. <laughs> I know what he meant. Just being dumb funny. Shh. Could just got done installing an S-cam and having a bur ooh having a burrito you ooh crispy chicken I mean listen if you're not careful I might have to come over uh I might have to come over to your condo and uh you know uh steal your chicky sandwich and then give you snuggles in return the blacksmith of Saint Anne tries to reshape his soul I see it better. I mean, it's not like I don't know where you live. <laughs> By the way, for those who don't know, Zool is my significant other. She's my SO. My child said, ew, she heard, oh, well, too bad. It's just, listen, Autumn, it's just snuggles. <laughs> it's, don't you, it's just snuggles. It's not some code word for disgustingness, okay? We're not getting nasty. Relax. Autumn's like, ew. <laughs> We're not heathens here, okay? If I'm being honest, I can find myself just playing playing it to play it. But the, you, you know what? Like, that's legitimate, though. That is a legitimate concern, Death Row. 100% legitimate concern. But again, this is the thing. You're doing some critical thinking. Also, no spiders this time. With, oh, you know what? Listen. <laughs> hey, Tech... You live in a part of the world where you need to be rightfully concerned about the goddamn spiders, sir. Okay? All right. I don't I don't fault you one bit. Not even a little bit. Nope. Capitan, what do you Not, think of that? It's just like, no, listen. It's just rightfully concerned about the goddamn spiders. You live in one of those parts of the world. That's some treacherous shit right there. Not all games have to, have to be 60 to $70. No, and you know what? Again, totally agreed. Now, here's the thing. And if you think about it, the one thing, the one commodity, the one commodity that all of us have consistently had over the course of the last 30 years, gaming, has not really effectively changed that much price-wise in comparison to a lot of things with cost of living. I can remember... Buying games for my Nintendo, the original Nintendo. 60, 70, 80 dollars for a cartridge. Right? I I remember that. Gaming for the longest time has been effectively been what you would almost classify as recession proof. That doesn't necessarily but we are in a time period now where a lot of people have to be very, a lot more budget conscious too, right? You also had to pay extra to save your game. Also true. Woo. Boy, that's an understatement. Yeah, because you needed a freaking, you needed the stupid freaking save cartridges. It was brutal, man. I miss video game stores though, where you could rent a game for a couple of days. That's effectively what uh, gaming as a service, like having like, um, what is it like the uh, like Xbox Game Pass or um, you know anything like that? That's it's how we play. Yeah, it is how we play most of our games in the true. Agreed. 
junk on the very best kind. Imagine a company charging for saves nowadays. Ooh. Yikes. I mean, <laughs> boy, that would go over like a lead fucking bar, man. Lead balloon. Oop. We're going to grab some linen because I know I'm going to need this material. Physical games, sell them once. You get once you're done, get some cash back. Or you had something if you were a collector. Like that was the other thing too because I know myself I was one of those people that I I would only buy a game if I wanted it as part of a collection yeah cough wow cough <laughs> don't even get me started on, on World of Warcraft dude holy shit oh I flubbed that up there we go okay uh, nope, don't care about the needsy. Don't care about any of it, but the linen. This was not what we bargained for, Captain. We don't Fuck. need it. Excellent. Fine, give me the stuff. I just wanted the. I wanted this. There we go. Oh, balls! Screwed that up, didn't they? Yeah, li listen, as some as a technologist myself, I don't like the idea of NFT anywhere like and it has nothing to do with me being a gamer. I don't like NFT and I do not see the value in it. I don't see the long-term value in a a JPEG, right? Like I'm sorry, I don't think that your JPEG is worth $1000 or whatever like or block like blockchain has value but gaming blockchain has zero value little to no value same with nft right and i'll be i'll be honest i've been on blockchain since since the advent of freaking bitcoin back in the day here we come i i wrote on that and i'll tell you i do not see the value in it anymore it's it's not going where people think it's going. It will never become mainstream. And the reason it'll never become mainstream, it purely comes down to the fact that it's unregulated. Yeah, I still think NFT, and, and I'm coming at that as, not as a gamer, I'm coming at that strictly as a technologist. I understand how blockchain works. I understand the value that blockchain can provide in a lot of instances. But as a monetary or funding purpose, I do not see it long term. I haven't for a long time. And I'll be honest, back in the day, I was a Bitcoin, I was a Bitcoin bro. I, I effectively was, a, I was trying to get everybody in on freaking, on crypto, on blockchain technology, right? Well, what if you had a finite number of digital copies and they were all tied to it? You get to actually resell your copy. But yeah, the thing is, though, is how do you how do you prevent? How do you lock that? That's what I'm trying to say. People do not see the intrinsic value in a digital asset, in a digital copy. I myself would never part with my I will buy a game, but I would never I will never buy a digital asset that has a limited edition because you cannot guarantee that that will remain limited. Because here's the here's the other here's the other downside to it. Digital assets can be pirated. It is a lot harder to copy a full physical box set and a lot more expensive than it is to do that with a digital asset. Look at all the problems with NFTs, right? Did I send the, no, 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 you didn't. You did not, not even close. No, actually, and this is the thing, I have a lot of respect for tech. Um, I like 
this is a conversation I've tech has had this conversation across multiple channels. It happens a lot here. These are the kind of conversations, though, honestly, and you can see, like, I'm not being shitty about it. Tech's not being tech's bringing up valid points, right? I love this. Is the this, these are the kind of conversations that I don't mind having here. As long as it's not political or religious, I don't care. <laughs> exactly. We just talking. We just talking. We're not fighting. We're not. Yeah, right. Talk out his ass for the next. Wow, you go fuck yourself too, Thunder. You know, it's a good thing I like you. <laughs> it's a good thing I like you, sir. Th Thunderwolf doesn't like me, but I like him. It's okay. No, but, and this is the thing, like, Tech, tech, I we we, there there are numerous different communities that Tech Noir and I are members of that this conversation comes up on a regular too, right? Went from one thing to another. I mean, no, it's it's okay. We do we do random around here sometimes. It happens. It happens. Hundred percent happens on a regular basis. Uh, what are wait wait what are we getting involved in here? Well, what's why the music change? It's a marquee. Oh, uh, well, you know what? Actually, we do need to open up this coastline a little bit more, don't we? So we're just going to head north a little bit here. Huh. The air is cold and silent. Strange sightings, view and map. That is nowhere near where we are right now. Okay, so we're going to... Where do we need to go? You were no, no, we're not new. I mean, linen, but. No, we're not doing it. I just Google it and found several websites already doing it. Subjects change and adjust. It's how. Yeah, and exactly. It's just the natural flow of conversations. But uh, so Death Crow, again, I, you know, I understand. I understand why uh, why why you're doing some critical thinking though. That brings me to another concern, but probably will be added to the uh, address later. The map does seem rather small for an open ocean. Yes. Well, and I, you know what? I think to to uh, to respond to that, um, you're probably you're probably right to sort of feel like, hey, maybe maybe the, the, this feels a little light. But they do have to kind of keep something under their hat too, right? Like they can't just, they can't just uh, give us everything right off the hop, if you know what I mean. And again, you know, rightfully, rightfully so with the, uh, with your uh, concerns, right? Like it's. Oh, sweet Jesus. Cutthroat event? Uh, I'm not doing the cutthroat. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Hell no. Not yet, anyway. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Okay, hold on, hold on. Come on. Get those guns loaded, boys. Just a little nudge there, they're done, Captain. Why Come on. Oh, we missed. Ooh. We've been hit! Fully fire, Captain! Hope you like the taste of salt! Bring all she did! Get moving, you rascals! I was gonna pick this up, and then I realized you're not walking around the ship and doing other stuff. Like, no, this. So, tech. A lot of people. I know a lot of people were expecting that this is going to effective, effectively be Black Flag too, right? Has Skurlocks chasers? Doesn't aim. For Shh. You're right. I do have the chasers, and no, I did not aim for the sails. I should have. Right. 
You are the ship. Yeah, no, you are. Right? And also, I'll be honest, I'm in a bit of a funk. I had a hard time finding a game or games that I can play for over an hour or two lately. So, here... If, 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 if I can... Challenge completed. Deal... Woo! We completed a challenge, too? Oh. Oh, my. Um... We all go through bit stints like that, right? Yeah, it's it's not yeah, it's not Assassin's Creed, right? Like And I use gaming to relieve stress. Well, part of the crew, part of the ship, yeah, and you're not like get your and that's right. Tarkov get your pain. Uh listen, I'm never going to recommend anybody play Tarkov. <laughs> They're trying to like not unless you are a masochist. Yo, Europe, how you doing? I am having fun pillaging. How are you doing, Gravity? How you doing? But, and again, I, as somebody who has actually done work for Ubisoft in QA and testing on contract, as somebody who loved the hell out of Black Flag, who loved the concept and the idea, I will honestly, my, my sales do look a little rough. It's true. Let's, let's, there, we'll fix them up. Thanks, Ool. Um, she's looking out for me. She's like, your your sails look a little rough. My ship is pretty AF though. Uh, this ship is great. I love it. Um, I'll, and I, I'm the first one to admit, I was a little disappointed. I was kind of hoping that we would get something similar to Black Flag again, where you could like, shipboarding was going to be like, you know, they're there. <laughs> nah, they're there to filter the wind. Uh, Jesus Christ, thunder. Right? The crew can't wait to taste the fruit, Captain. Um, you know, and I was kind of hoping that we would, like, boarding ships. We would get that, you know, third party where we're actually physically boarding the ship. Um, we get the third party when we dock, right? We're, we're in port. We go, we run around and hand our stuff in. And we go to the ship, right? And we have a, a different ship built, things like that, right? So, um, okay. You know what? No. Oh, shit. No! Shiza. Hold the sails! Let the wind loose! Yikes. Woo! Well, so we're putting in drainage for the golf course. Lots of, ooh, yes, I can imagine. So let me, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make a guess here. You're, so putting in drainage for the golf course. So I'm guessing that you, you are uh, like um, landscaping and maintenance for a major course, yeah? Let's see what you got anything I can I mean bronze power of fury top eh? no, no, I want okay let's see okay um uh we're gonna stop at the sacred tree though on our way through yeah I can imagine doing drainage though for uh, it would would require quite a bit of work that sea people or Farah oh clan of Farah okay major for my local area and yes maintenance yeah so you you I'm guessing you, you spend time tending to the greens you know um you know doing doing a lot of that I imagine during the summer, though, that can't be that bad. That's got to be a lot of fun sometimes. Well, I guess fun is debatable, but you know what I mean? Full sails. What is it? I guess I guess fun could be debatable. Rova Hill. Right now the course is closed. Oh, you're in New York. Yeah, it's still February. Okay, Europe, two weeks ago. No, no kidding. There were local golf courses here with people out playing. They, they were open and people were playing. And I live further north of you. I live in Ontario. We didn't have winter. 
Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but I'm just saying we didn't have winter here. People were playing. It's got to be fun to dig into the ground at this time of the year. I mean, it's kind of weird because normally this time of the year, the ground is still fucking frozen. <laughs> it's not right. Yeah, right? Exactly. It's, it, it is the weirdest sensation. It is the absolute weirdest thing ever. Right? Mid 60s. Yep. Freedom units. Yeah, it was effectively the same here. Like it's, it was like, what was that? I think it maxed out of 14 degrees uh, Celsius, which is, I think that's like 58 ish and around there. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Yeah, a couple, yeah, members. That's the thing. Like, it's freaking crazy. This is not normal. This is not, this is not normal for this time of year. There's still snow on the ground. Shit is still frozen. You're not digging in the ground. We, we, we've, we've had two, two weeks of what I would consider like below zero temperatures, below zero degrees Celsius, and a little bit of snow. But yeah, like today, this uh, this morning, we had a thunderstorm. About 10 a.m., there was a thunderstorm. It got really warm, the wind whipped up, all of a sudden there's thunder and lightning, it's freaking loud as hell, and just, boom, freaking rain. I'm like, it's February. This time of year, I'm used to looking out my window and still seeing about two and a half, three feet of snow. The ground is still frozen. Shit is still in hibernation. I heard robins. I really like coconut jam. Oh, I wait. heard robins oh, chirping in the trees just outside my window this morning when it was raining. It was the craziest thing. This is, I think, the earliest. And I'm 51. I'm 51 years old, right? I am 51 years old. Did you hear? No, I didn't hear any Batmans. No, 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 I mean, that'd be cool, too. Dan and Inez, let's go. Hey, you know what? I'll be honest. Death Crow, I'll be legitimately honest with you. If I could afford to pay 80K a year for a membership and I could go to the golf course, I'd be doing it. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even hating on them. Some of those people actually, the, the funny thing is though, is I know that, you know, people, people who have that kind of money do catch a lot of flack, but it's surprising. I know quite a few people who are in that, in that group, um, that like they're earning 250,000 a year, but here's the thing about them. They worked their ass off to get to the positions that they've got too. They didn't just get it handed to them. They worked their balls off to get there, right? I'll hate on golfers and gold gold course. <laughs> freaking tech. I'll hate on freaking golfers and gold, golf courses. But I know, like, that's the thing. Like, I know people who have done very well in their careers. They started out with nothing. They they busted their balls to get where they are, right? Just I struggle. No, no, no. And you know what? And Crow, I'll be honest. Like, here's the thing. I'm streaming. I'm 51 years old. I'm streaming here on Twitch, right? I don't make big bucks. Some months, I, I, I'm, I'm, I have a good working relationship with my, with my roommate. Um, we have a deal worked out. Um, some months, I have a lot, a lot of surplus, and I put extra in. And some months, things are really skint, right? Some months I struggle. Some months are good. And I, I understand that. What I learned to do was to stop caring about what other people were doing. And just started worrying about like, is my bowl full enough? If it isn't, what can I do to fill my bowl, right? I don't care what my neighbor's doing. I stopped caring about what my neighbors were doing, right? I stopped, I stopped getting upset at other people about their their fortune because getting upset at carrying that negative negativity around because somebody else is like, because somebody else has had that kind of success or or had a family that just ha did well like freaking decades ago or, or won the lottery and i just real i came to realize that carrying that 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 around didn't help how i felt it, it, it always made me feel worse so i just i i legitimately just one day started like started looking at it and i'm like i gotta stop thinking like this 
it took time it took work like i had to Business. make a complete mind like a complete mindset shift Anything useful? it was just it was crazy but you know it did help it took time though it wasn't something that just happened like How it wasn't man. something that i just you know overnight just snap and you know it's gone it's done I wish it were that easy. I really do. I wish that was something you just snap your fingers and you no longer feel bad about it or it doesn't make you feel kind of like a little, you know, upset inside. Yeah, no, and you know what? Like sometimes, yeah, sometimes it can kind of get on you too, especially when it's brought up. A lot of us do have those struggles and it is unfortunate, right? Like it's not it's not fun for anyone when you when you when you have those struggles either, right? And sometimes it does like it also I find sometimes it depends on the day too. Yeah, the club is all super rich people. They also had to pay the an initi an initiation fee. Whoo. So they're definitely like they're paying. They're definitely paying for being there. And I'm, you know what? Like, hey, if, if they can afford it, shit, why not, right? Hey, psst, psst, chat, chat. Hey, um, hey, yerp, 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 yerp. Hey, um, I, I'm looking, hey, I'm all right. Somebody, somebody want to send a sugar daddy my way though? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm joking. I'm waiting to get my ass kicked because freaking Zool is sitting here she'd be like what you want what sure daddy but i cut your balls off and hand them to you in a freaking sack you know what <laughs> we're talking about sugar daddies said hey you know you know this golf course seems to have a lot of bodies they got a lot of money i mean listen somebody just want to be a sugar daddy i'm not doing any favors for it though i'm not doing favors but i mean listen you know, somebody want to come by and drop like a thousand thousand on my channel. I ain't going to say no either. But that doesn't mean you get feet picks. Okay. Why am I still? I don't know. Why are you still here? <laughs> Zool's like, excuse me. I'm in danger. <laughs> You're not getting feet picks for that thousand though. Not a daddy, but I'll take a shirt. You're traumatizing Jay. Listen, I said no sh Item already owned, blueprint already owned, blueprint already owned. I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy that. It just works. It kills fucks faster. Wow. Woo. Damn. Already owned, already owned. Okay, so I already own all that. Uh, we're gonna grab everything of that that you've got. Well. Trondo Gacy, Varia Bimanaka. Nope. Poor Jay. Why am I still here? I don't know. Why are you still here, Jay? <laughs> are you you are traumatizing Jay? I'm not. She's not traumatized. Are you kidding me? She is not traumatized. Do not fall for her trick, Zool. If someone wants to cut down trees and waste resources just to slap a ball with a stick, it's that's valid. But I'm gonna judge you. Hey, talk to the Scottish. They're the ones who invented the sport. <laughs> text like i'm a judge you folks i hope you're having a good day thank you so much for coming by thanks for hanging out smoke on the water uh yeah, you know mm, 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 yeah. the winds favor you okay I, I already got what i wanted out here we're, we're gonna continue on with our uh, <laughs> trip okay Uh, Zool's not traumatized though, Jay. It, it, it's 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 cute that you Thanks think. So I don't think Zool's good. dramatized. <laughs> the and I can't speak for Hawaii, but golf courses I've worked uh, worked are a blend of recreation and natural habitat. For my point of maintenance, I need to maintain the greens for the players, but I also always have planted trees and maintained meadows. Well, yeah, but that, that, listen, that doesn't mean I have to, you know, do anything special for it. Shh. 
Oh, well, we, we got to turn around. God damn it. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I have to do anything. I just have to be here on stream. <laughs> I just... I mean... They don't work the way everybody seems to think they used to work. That was more for tech. Yeah, I get it. I get it. No worries. I get it. I know a lot of the courses up here have a huge freaking, uh, they work in conjunction with natural conservation, like, uh, actual conservation authorities and everything too, because there, there are regulations that they have to actually work by in order to, yeah, it is, it is a recreational sport and they do have, but they do have, there are certain, uh, certain parts of conservation that they also have to meet in order to maintain, to keep the course operational. Um, so they have to work within local guidelines, right? So and No amount of money around here gonna help you I'm st Yeah, so you're st so you're actually a steward of the environment. Dude, that is so cool, Yerp. That is freaking cool as hell That is super cool I mean, it's true though. I'm not gonna lie. There are times where I've judged people on a golf course I, I cannot you know, I, I, I will legitimately like be like, yo, like, I mean, you know, I'm a judge you. Yeah, I've seen some courses keep that balance. I don't see that here, though. I mean, all I want is iced coffee. Do you not have your own bank account, child? Can you not just walk down the street and get just you are you live one block from a Tim Hortons girl? One block? You mean you can't walk down one block to get yourself a nice coffee? Child, I swear to God. I do, but I really don't want to walk. It is one block. It will take you six minutes to walk there and walk home and make your order. Six minutes. Do you remember when the dude walks onto the golf course and falling down? Yes. <laughs> And that, yeah, so, and that's the thing, right? Like, tech, yeah, right, tech? That's my energy on a golf course. Just... <laughs> Falling down was a good... That, that was good, though, right? No, 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 no. It, no, Jay Dressed in Blue is... It's 6.30. It's 6.30 p.m. for us. Not Slife. I don't know falling down. Oh... <laughs> but yeah, and, and again, like that's the thing, right? It, it's different regionally. So, Tech, you're saying that your experience being in Hawaii is completely different than what we've experienced. Yes, yes. I may be an illusion. No, Nuts Life. And Nuts Life, did you even wish me a happy belated birthday, you son of a bitch? It was my birthday on Sunday. It was my birthday on Sunday. I don't recall you saying happy birthday to me. You even belated, you bastard. Didn't ask earlier, but what do you enjoy the most? But believe it or not, the fucking sea shanties. I love the sea shanties. Like coming down at first person and hearing them doing the shanties? Mmm. Yes, please. Hey, boys. Oh, don't just hear the old man say goodbye, fare ye well. Goodbye, fare ye well. Oh, don't you hear the old man say, Hurrah, me boys, we're homeward bound. We're homeward bound to Liverpool. Yes. Goodbye, fare ye well. Like this, Goodbye, this right here. This is what I truly enjoy about this. I could just sail, not do shit all else. Just sail in the game and not do anything else and just listen to shanties. gets to the Wallace Gates. Goodbye, fare thee well. Goodbye, fare thee well. Sally and Arlie for the flashmen to. And if I get a chance, by the way, um, so there is a local costume shop. Everything that we get from the uh, the goals from this, I want to use. 
towards the costume shop to buy like silly goofy hats like pirate hats and captain's hats goodbye fare thee well not even kidding and I talked to Zool last night she's kind of down too I am not hey I am not AI do not lie to Europe gravity about this Europe don't believe nuts life he, he lies I am not a synth I'm not a cyborg I'm not AI I am not a freaking hologram Ports all over swell with tales of your feet, Captain. Tales of my feet? Stay off my only fancy bastard. <laughs> Best damn Terminator. I mean, yeah, right? Uh, yeah. See, Zool can confirm I am a real person. What am I listening to? I'm not cursing. What, what am I listening to? I'm not cursing. Back in one piece. That's right. We're back on in one piece. What am I listening for? Huh? What? What am I listening for? Read back. I made an effing spelling error. Well, you, you would. Yeah. Okay, fine. Shh. Yeah, Linda. Shh. Listen. Yeah. Linda, listen. Listen, Linda. Listen. 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 <laughs> listen, Linda. Listen. <laughs> I need to be able to build better weapons. Tearing culvern twos. Let's go. Enhanced demi cannons. Flooding demi cannons too, which I have a couple of those. Oh boy. Bombards. Repair bomb. Ah, the heck with the repair bombard. Mons Meg one. Enhanced long gun. Fire long gun too. Ooh, let's go. I'm not interested in the repair long gun. Ra Rama's ambition torpedoes, huh? Rockets? Nope. Nope. Ah, uh, we have La Fortes. La Fortes. Piercing and explosive damage mitigation. Nice. Iron Husk 4. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, we can now make torpedoes and we can now make our own cannonballs. All right. Boom. We're done. Strike. Mm. All right. Uh, what can what cannonball crate? Already owned. Already owned. Demi cannon one. Okay. Well, we're going to buy that. Iron husk two. We're going to buy that. We're just going to buy all the things because, I mean, I have credits. I might as well use them. Long gun one. Bombard, oh, already owned. Culver and two. Torpedo one. Woo! Moves good Man, no dad blew, su bl no dad blew through some money. No, I'm physically tired, so no. <laughs> he said I, not AI. I mean, it looked like AI to me. I said AI. It's That's the way it is. He's just going to have to suck it up. <laughs> Bingo, someone actually read. I can read, but you mean oi? No, it looked like AI. I'm just going to say. Suck it out. Nuts Life has to understand he knows that I am just messing with him at this point. I am just effing with him. He doesn't have to like it, but he has to accept the fact that I'm just effing with him at this point. Scoping station. Hitting a target more than 320. I already... Mm, signal gong. Megaphone. We're getting close to broke, chat. How did we go through... How did we burn through our money that fast? Good Lord. Where did our cash go? Sweet Jesus. Our goddamn piss liquor of a cat. He lost our ship in a guard. I know. That's right. You do just give me crap Gravity back. So crap for crap, sir. I said it. Wait, what? I have dyslexia. So bite me. I mean, no. Also one word, titties. I mean, listen. Oh, my. As long as it does not become part of a tackle, I'm good. You're all better now. <laughs> 
I ask that every day. Oh, my good Lord, it's getting so bad in here. Are you good? Are you sure? Uh, let's open. Let's let's. There we go. Yeah, renegade. I mean, okay. Well, sure. We'll take that. We'll take that. And sunk many maintenance forge. Oh boy, what? Oh good lord. There we go. Fine relic. Yeah. Okay. We got a maintenance forge chat. Oh baby. Mm hmm. Baby, I love the way every day. Mmm. Cobalt ingots. Let's go. Good. Look at all the. We have all the good stuff right now. Okay. All the good stuff. What is this? What is this? Grilled beef. Beefy. Got the durian. Got them there. Uh, grilled vegetables. You know. Pear kit one. I mean, we're gonna keep that. Actually, we're going to get rid of those two. Done and dusted. Let's go. Transfer to warehouse. Thank you. It's green. Sag, Scott needs to add fun. I have fun BTTV emotes. My warehouse is yours, Scott. What do you mean? Don't you give me the Sage. Don't you give me the Sage. I have fun BTT emotes. Sir, how dare you? How freaking dare you? How dare? <laughs> Scam! There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Where's no purse? <laughs> Shiza. <laughs> oh, that no purse. She was the crown jewel of the Dutch fleet. So many diamonds, they were rolling off the decks and dropping in the sea. Listen, not slave. There comes a time where saying you can't use because I'm Dutch is an excuse, okay? It doesn't count anymore. Doesn't count anymore. Nope. Doesn't count anymore. You cannot keep using that as an excuse for anything. Bad behavior is bad behavior. That's all there is to it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You can't keep doing that. No, sir. Being Dutch has nothing to do with it. Ignorant is still ignorant. You're brave to sink a privateer. Not many <laughs> pirates survive the hunt. He going to get mad. Nuts life is going to get mad. So he's going to be F you too, son of a bitch. Only two? Okay, I mean fine. Bing, bing. I'm weird. Comes with the territory. Hey, you're right. I am Canadian scum. It's true. I'm a Canuck. I'm a Canuckistanian. Yeah, and the word still stands. Titties. I mean, right? Oh my. That's right. Thank you, Yerp. I appreciate Utini. that. If you want Utini, go to the go to my merch shop. We have. We have the Utini Java Java mugs, t-shirts, and long sleeve shirts now. We also have the brand new Richard Scorpion Toronto mug as well. By the way, enjoy drinking your coffee while you wish upon someone else to be eating a bag of Richards. You're welcome, chat. <laughs> and if you don't already know, there's a link to the merch shop. <laughs> I want to be kicked there. I mean, shh, don't, don't, so don't, cute. do not the incite the bot. The bot, my bot is evil. My evil, evil. Yes, words are hard. Evil. My bot is evil. Chat. <laughs> Goodness. I don't even know how to speak anymore. Words are hard. Okay. Words are hard. Okay. All right. Uh, evil. Evil like the devil. Evil like the devil. Woo, we got, mm, we got a lot, look at all that fine, mm, six to, wow, five to one? Oh my good lord, that's going to be pricey. Fine, Remy? Yeah, we'll just leave that for now. Fine, Jute. No, we're just going to leave that too. Fine, Sizo. 
We'll leave that. Sure, why not? That's it. That's it. Okay. All right. How about we just back out of this? We just wait for our finished goods. The fruits of the devil. That's right. The devil. The devil's within the fruits. The fruits of those loins and the labors. Mmm. And one's fetish. Wait. I mean, listen. If you get on, I'm going to say... Evil like the devil. Scott, brains make words happen or else. Brain or else what? Yeah, per no, the problem is it's not my brain that has a problem. It's my mouth and my brain not communicating with each other. My brain thinks of the word. My mouth goes, ha, 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 we're not saying that. We're going to say it completely different. You're welcome. Have fun. <laughs> I was going to go. I was going to go. Oh, my God. <laughs> Austin Powers. But it's how you steer that matters. Do I make you horny, baby? Well, do I? You look dapper today? Oh, thank you. I think I would look better with a pirate hat, though. I'm just saying. Here, that was quick. You I think I would look better with a pirate you? hat. Terrain Culvern 2. I mean, you know, I... Enhanced Demi Cannons. Do you have those now? What else did we get? What else? Mm. The Long Gun 3s, man. There's a nice, but the Long Fire Long Gun 2. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, we're gonna have to definitely spend some time with some of this. Uh, do I, I don't know if I picked up any, I, we didn't pick up any other but ships though, did we? Hunter or the hunted. Today you drink privateer blood. Buy and sell. What do you currently have? Do you have any actual ship plans or is it? No, it's just all. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh my. Wow. Uh, listen, looks like an orc ship. Oh, get off my ship. Damn, darn freebooters. Darn freebooters. You know what this game would look like if it was based on an actual pirate's war back? <laughs> yeah, scurvy. <laughs> It'll look like scurvy and black teeth. Tell me I'm wrong. We already have the Badar. Blueprints already owned. Yes, thank you. Safe travels, Captain. Because we know the pirates did not actually look like this. Now, there were mercenary crews. We know that there were mercenary, mercenary crews that looked sort of like this. Bloody well drinks tea when there's plenty of rum at hand. Oh, it's for those the tea's probably more likely to get you drunk than the rum anyways of these times. Like, let's be honest here. What, wait, what, what is going on? Why why are you telling me to come over here? If you keep coming back. Access warehouse. I'll I just... Like to read your story. Shh. Hey, what, what? Oh, it's because of all this stuff, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Um, mm, hold on a minute. So, does this stuff have any... I don't think that any of this has any value. Like, the, well, the crocodile leather, shark leather, the broken planks, though. Like, all of this stuff seems like just crap. It's craptacular. Helm raw materials. I mean, thank you. Safety, okay. Captain. All right, all right, all right. This is what we're going to do. Ah. Ah, chat. Need to go and find myself some food, okay? I need to go and find some food. I already have a pretty good idea what I'm going to make for food. I got a pretty good idea, but doesn't tell me having to go and make some actual food. Ooh, damn. There we go. I know the broken planks and nails can be enhanced, but other than that, yeah, I, I know that they can be enhanced as well, but I, I agree. I'm not really fully sure. Um, But yeah, chat. That is uh, apparently join the life. I love that. Join the life of privacy or piracy. Privacy. Join the life of privacy. Piracy, chat. Join the life of piracy. Uh, let's see what we've got here. I have three prizes to collect. Claim. I get more pieces of eight. 
Uh, three repair kit threes. Three water barrels. Okay, sure. Because I apparently unlocked a couple of achievements while we were playing today, which is pretty dope. I'm glad that we got to, I got to, uh, they were core, they were core challenges. So, and a couple of achievements. So we got, you know, we got some extra stuff. All right. I'm all right with that. I'm okay with that. That's, uh, you know. It's hard to believe that to just today alone, we did half a million damage on enemy ships. That's kind of nuts. I was not expecting to do like half a million damage today. I am. Um, so that is going to wrap it up for me for today. We will be back tomorrow. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do yet tomorrow, but we'll see. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for dropping follows. Thank you for subs. Thank you for resubs. Thank you for gifting subs. And thank you for for the tip. As always, chat, around here, only the tip. Oh, my. You can't go any deeper than the tip, chat. Um, we're going to head out on the way out. I'm going to see if I can find somebody to raid. If you guys wouldn't mind hanging out for a couple more minutes, we're going to see. You know what? I know where I'm sending you to. Uh, considering we're doing pirate things, I'm... We're going to go raid Smashly. Smashly's currently live. She is jumping into some Star Citizen. She is also doing charity streams right now. Okay. She's doing some charity work. Okay. So I'm going to send you guys over there. See? Hey, listen. People chat Zoom. Listen. You're, you're like, see? No, I have all sorts of fun. I have all sorts of fun ones. All right, chat. I will see you over in Smashly's channel. Have yourselves a wonderful Tuesday evening, and I will catch you back here tomorrow for Wednesday stream. Cheers, everyone.